all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i apologize the sound was having some difficulty i think a genie hated piss in the mic as the prophet he said today our topic is about how the muslims do their best to abrogate not the quran but the interpretation of the quran in the front of us we have from the islamic website it's called islam online does the sun sit in a muddy pool? A Muslim asking question. The scholars, who they are not scholars, you know, every day, like today, supposedly everybody is a scholar these days, right? In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful, all praise be and thanks due to Allah and peace and the blessing upon his messenger. Dear questioner, we would like to thank you for the great confidence you place on us and we earnestly implore Allah to give us insight to understand the teaching of Islam before answering your question we would like first to mention to the readers to our readers the translation of the meaning of the Quranic verse that it's referred to this question Till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a muddy spring, and he found the people there about. We said, O oh, Zulkarnain, either punish them or show them kindness. The chapter of the cave, verse number 86. Here is a brief of commentary to the above verses, as mentioned in the books of Tafsir. Till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, means Zulkarnain followed the route until he reached the farthest point that would be reached in the direction of the sun sitting, which is the west of the earth. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh boy. Uh, uh, that's um this is what the Quran is saying are you sure this is really what the Quran is saying this is the new interpretation for the Quran you see the Muslim generations new generations they try to outsmart their themselves and they say, I mean, come on, who in the world today will accept such a garbage? We have to do something. So what is the game we can play? We can say now, oh, it does not sit in the murky water. It means he went all the way until the sun set in the ocean. But my friend, the verse, even in your translation, just to show you how an idiot you are, does it say, a muddy spring somebody told you before that the ocean is a muddy spring abdul when the last time you abdul you heard somebody saying that the ocean is a muddy spring by the way guys one day i want to take a vacation And I want to go and watch where the sun set in the muddy spring. I think that is located in Florida. Or maybe in um, Thailand. Or no, no, maybe, maybe he said the West. Hmm. Alaska. What West, what East, what's wrong with you Muslims? It says he found it sitting. He found it sitting. It didn't say he reached until he found where the sun set because simply the sun set everywhere, Abdul. I mean, who is the stupid? He need to go somewhere to find where the sun set. Trust me, my friend, the sun set in the same town I live in too. Hey, people in the street. 
I mean in the screen I mean in the chat I mean people who they are where the Sun set is it true that the Sun set where you live to or only it happened to me I mean how silly how stupid it is that we need to go and we reach the point where the Sun in the direction where the Sun sitting the direction where the Sun sitting But Alexander the Great did not go even west. <laughs> Alexander the Great, he went <laughs> in the south of Europe, you idiot donkey. <laughs> he went, he occupied Syria, he occupied Egypt. You know, what are you talking about? What he reached? He went to the west? What west? He lived in the west. He he's in Europe. The guy himself, he live in the West. So what is West exactly where he found the sunset, Abdul? What is that location exactly? Can you give us the direction, please? But because this is a shameful verse, the God of Islam is the only God, and the funny, the funny, the Muslims, in their website they say this miraculous of the Quran or miracles of the Quran the Quran the book of Islam contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known 1400 years ago absolutely nobody knows at that time Nobody knows that the sun set in the muddy water. That is a new knowledge. And now the Muslims, in order to cover the ass of their prophet for all the dump he did during his time, they have to fabricate the meaning. You will find not a single scholar since the time of Muhammad until the 20th century ever. Actually, no, actually, we will find, we will find because. You see, when people they start discovering uh, that this is stupid, so they start. The more we get far from Muhammad date, the more we try to find people trying to say he did not mean that. So let us go to the earliest Islamic scholars. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad himself. Till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he reached what? He reached the sitting place of the sun. He did not reach the direction of the sun. What direction? Where the sun set. Where the sun set. He found it. He made a discovery. This is a found something nobody found before. He found it. What is the point of Allah saying he found it if this is something everybody knows? Are you listening, Muslims? When the Quran says he found it, it's mean this is a new discovery. This is something nobody knows. And this is why Allah supposedly in the Quran, he said, let me tell you, they are asking you about Zilqarnayn, the man with the two horn. Let me tell you about him, which means this is something nobody knows. This is a special knowledge. Allah only knows. They ask thee of the Qurnain, say, I shall recite into you a remembrance of him. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Zul Qurnain, Zul Qurnain, the story of Zul Qurnain. I will recite for you the story of the Qain. Sit down, please. Everybody, take your seat. And now Allah Himself will recite for us in the remembrance of Him. Zulkarnain, the guy with the two horn. Even the name is very funny. Still no screen. My friend, my friend, refresh your page. Look like Zulkarnain. He took you and took the screen of your computer to where the murky water is. Now, 
So Allah is the one is giving us the information. This is not Zul Qurnayn talking. Just take a note. It is not the guy who his name is Zul Qurnayn. The one is reporting the story. People they ask Muhammad about Zul Qurnayn. Actually, the Jews they ask him to make fun of him. And Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut and he claimed now he got the answer from his God. They will ask thee of Zulkarnain, say, I shall recite into you a remembrance of him. Lu, we made him strong in the land and gave him into everything a road. Really? And he follow a road. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, 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 Zulkarnain, Zulkarnain, aha, Zulkarnain took a road, aha, Zulkarnain is walking, aha, he keep walking, keep walking, aha, until he found the sun sitting, aha, da, 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 Zulkarnain, Zulkarnain, da, 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 Zulkarnain, Zulkarnain. So Zulkarnain, when he reached till, you see it says till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, not the direction, not until, sitting a place, my friend. There is a sitting and place. There is a place where the sun set. And now the Muslims, in order to avoid the disaster Muhammad he came with, and this pupu, big pupu, huge pupu, big size pupu, have many colors because he was eating too many foods in the same day. So the Muslims, in order to avoid this big pupu, they have no choice but to say, oh, uh, he did not mean he found the sun sitting in murky water. Uh, it was about uh, the direction, and uh, he went all the way uh, where the west is. But Zulkarnayn, first of all, he did not go to the west. He is in the west. He went all the way in the direction of Syria, Iraq, uh, you know, Egypt, etc. He built the Alexandria as an example. And Alexandria is not the west. And it is not and never been in the west. And here you will notice When the Muslim they say to you in their interpretation, and this is the new interpretation, trying to avoid, as we say, the disaster in the Quran. When they said that he went to the farthest point that could be reached the direction of the sun setting. But my friend Zulkarnain, the Roman army, they have they have ships. Let us say, let us say they arrive where there is a sun set in the ocean still he can continue but you just said according to you this is this is the farther point what is that farther point can be farther point could be reached in the direction of the sun setting what is that america yeah. <laughs> and if you go to America, you have to continue all the way and then you go to Philippines and you go to Japan. I mean, this is endless because the sun always sitting somewhere. The sun always it is sitting somewhere. Non-stop. 24 hours a day. How stupid, even when they try to interpret it to make it look better. He found it sitting in a muddy spring. Let us see how they will make the muddy spring now. What they will make it refrigerator means that he saw the sun as if with it were sitting in the ocean. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Abdul. If it is 
he saw it as it is sitting in the ocean why your God did not say as as you are saying this is not what the Quran is saying let us go to their own fabricated translation he found it it doesn't say he thought it doesn't say as if it is it is says he found it sitting in a muddy spring do you see it zul qurnain zul qurnain aha your story is disaster aha we have to lie to cover it aha the prophet is doing poo poo aha 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 zul qurnain zul qurnain aha Zul Qurnayn, Zul Qurnayn, he went all the way and he found where the sun sitting by the way. What a discovery, what a discovery. Everybody shout here, shout, shout, shout. Discovery. Allah amazing, telling us a story nobody can tell such a story about sitting the sun in muddy water please wash your feet after you go there because the sun do sit there that's amazing that's so beautiful that's beyond science but the Abdul, they forgot their prophet. He got them busted. You know, the problem, you Muslims, you try to cover the ass of your prophet, put in diapers, put in pumpers, put in a, a suicide belt. But it's not working. Let us go and see the hadith. You're a prophet. He will get you busted. Shall we? Shall we? If we go in the hadith, the scientist Muhammad, peace upon him, he have the knowledge which nobody can have <clears throat> I've been in Arabic switching all right Abdul, what we will do with your prophet who cannot keep his mouth shut? So now you made an article saying it was appearing as if it is sitting. He went all the way where the sun, he the farther point he can go. It was as if it was sitting. But look what your prophet he say. What we will do with this now? What we will do with this? I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. I'm not going to ask you for the sake of Allah why the guy even sitting behind Muhammad. I mean, what a prophet he have a guy sitting behind him in a donkey. Anyway, I think his limousine is small. I was sitting behind Allah messenger who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, Muhammad always volunteer. I mean, Thank you, Prophet. Thank you for asking. Thank you. He asked, Do you know where this set? You see, Muhammad, I see him always as a guy he likes to show off. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, Abdul, ignorant behind me. I'm the Prophet Muhammad. I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to give you an answer. Nobody knows. Do you know where the sun set? The Abdul, he do his duty. By the way, Abu Huraira, he used to accompany Muhammad, uh, Abu Dar, sorry. He used to accompany Muhammad always in the back of his donkey. Never he is in the front. I don't know why. Anyway, so do you know where the sun set? The guy he said, as usual, to make Muhammad happy. You know, he, Muhammad, he have an echo. Uh, I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. The Muslim, they associate the knowledge of Muhammad with the knowledge of Allah. Both they know best, equally. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. 
what the heck so now what we will do with this long article saying he found it as if it is sitting in the murky water it appear as it is in the murky water he went all the way to the farther point so all of this was a fabrication and it was a lie do you see how they lie just to cover the shame and this is a clear proof that islam is a false religion because if islam is not a shameful religion why muslims they cover up what their prophet said and what the quran meant by saying what it's saying Do you understand me guys if you are a Muslim listening ask yourself why Muslims they fabricate articles as we see here changing the mean of the Quran to defend their cult you see now if somebody made an article says based on science the Bible is not telling the truth about Jesus is born of a virgin this is absolutely cannot be true because science is not supporting this I'm not going to change my Bible I'm not going to change the meaning just to make somebody who believe in science agree with me correct this is what truthful people do we believe in miracles we believe in God your science is conditions we have someone is above conditions he can do whatever he wish so the Muslims because they knew Islam is a stupid and Because they don't really believe in their cult no more. So what they do They change the meaning to make it look like it is something else But as you see their prophet get them busted and their prophet as usual. He don't get them busted once I mean if I show you how many times the prophet he spoke about the Sun setting I will make the bum of those who wrote those article trying to defend it red as a chimpanzee in different hadith prophet muhammad peace be upon him he allah he pray for him not to him and this is the quotation of mimi hijab look what muhammad he said Actually, we should call Muhammad from now on Mimi. In different hadith, and this is Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih hadith. And by the way, the hadith before the one we showed you, it is Sahih too, because the Muslim they might say, hey, hey, this is not Sahih. <laughs> this is not Sahih. It is Sahih. It is Sahih, Hun Sahih, Hun Sahih, Hun Sahih, Sahih. Sahih, 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 Sahih. Do you see it? It is Sahih. So don't play the game of we. Don't play the game. And we played for you, your scholar today. He was saying the attack of weak hadith is a weak argument. <laughs> I like what he said. <laughs> he said, and I'm quoting him. The argument of weak hadith is a weak argument, which means when the Muslim they claim that this hadith is weak, is rejected, he is saying to them, don't do that. It is accepted by the scholars. It's not really what you think. <laughs> so, Muhammad in different hadith, he said, once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. He said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. He said, It goes. What? It goes. What the heck? The sun it goes? Yes, it goes and put straight underneath Allah's throne. What? So now what we will do with this oh the, the, you know we were rejected we were rejected because obviously this is stupid so what we would do now we will say uh, this is daif but this is Sahih bukhari daif i don't care the Sahih bukhari Sahih muslim i don't care it is daif please leave me alone
So the sun, as you see in the screen in Arabic, it says تحت العرش. So the sun sit under the throne every day. And look how many hadith reporting the same story. This is Sahih Muslim. And the story here is real long. This is Sahih Muslim, hadith number 159A. I forgot the Muslims cannot read the numbers like this. You have to say it with echo. One five nine a a a. And in order to memorize something, the same we memorize the Quran, we have to repeat it hundreds of times. Sahih Muslim. One five nine a a a. Bravo, bravo. We are getting there. It is narrated in the authority of Abu Dhar. You see, guys, this guy he have an authority. He have a stamp there. <laughs> authority, man. <laughs> the authority of Abu Dhar. It's like you're saying the authority of God. Do you know the message of Allah said, Do you know where the sun goes? No, Prophet, we do not know. Tell us. They replied, Allah and his apostles know best. He, the holy, he is holy. Holy cow. The Holy Prophet observed verily, verily, the sun glitz till it reach its sitting or resting place under the throne. So the sun, every day, every day, it goes and rest. I mean, everybody sleep. Everybody sleep, even the sun. So the sun have a resting place, and that is under the throne of Allah, proving scientifically. If there is any Muslim have an objection, please. His son, hey, it's getting morning here. Are you going to wake up? I'm resting, you idiot. My time is not up yet. I need to sleep. The sun is going to the resting place. Now, someone might say, but here it doesn't say the water. Where is the water? <coughs> My friend, in order to understand Islam, you have to connect the dots. Muhammad, he said, it is resting under the throne. But do you know where the throne of Allah is? Who remember? Who remember where is the throne of Allah? Let us see in the text who is going to remember. Who of you, you know deserve to go to Disneyland? Paid by Allah trip. Do you see where Allah throne is located? You see it? This is what Muhammad is talking about. So all of those hadith is consistent with the Quran. The sun go and sit in murky water. The sun sit under the throne of Allah. Is the same story, because Allah's throne is above the water. Allah He like to do fishing. I mean, what you can say. Here it says, the hadith was narrated authority of Abu Hani with the chain of transmission, but there is no mention of his throne upon the water. But if you go down, you will see it says. His throne was above the water. Here, Sahih Muslim saying that Abu Hani reported the hadith, but he did not mention the water. Here, he confirmed that the water was there. And this is Sahih Hadith. Sahih Hadith, Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2653B. And the funny. If you notice with me here, when Muhammad he was saying that he made a he made a bigger pupu. Anyone notice the pupu? Anyone notice the pupu? Who noticed the pupu in this story here? I heard Allah Messenger as saying, 
Allah ordained the mess the measure of uh, uh, of the creation 50,000 years before he created the heaven and the earth as his throne was upon the water Anyone notice what is stupid here? What this guy Maulana is saying he is talking about Christian Prince Maulana are you a Nigerian boy? I noticed that Nigerian people they call you and they will not let you talk. Okay, let me talk. My friend, you are calling me in my program. Let me talk. I mean, what's wrong with those Nigerian Muslims? They call you, but they will not let you talk. Oh, he's from Indonesia. Oh, okay. I thought I thought he is from India. I mean, the, the Nigerian Muslims are the most funny one. Go and watch all the callers who call me from Nigeria. First, I don't understand what they are saying. Secondly, they will not let you talk. But do you know why they will not let you talk? Anyone understand? When somebody is so nervous, he keep talking. You know what I mean? Because he is nervous, he is talking to Christian Prince. I better talk as much as I can because if he open his mouth, he will ask me something and he will get me busted. So I better keep talking. Abdul, let me talk. Let me. You are racist. Why you are talking like that about African? Look who is talking. Look who is talking. You are the one who attack African. I'm not talking about African, you idiot. I'm talking about Nigerian Muslims. Coward. It's your prophet who speak against the African. He said that the black is the devil. Do you want me to show you? Your prophet is the one who said that the black will go to hell. Do you want me to show you, coward? Do you want to challenge me? In my belief, black, white, Asian, doesn't matter who you are. All of us, we are the children of God. In your belief, black people are evil. In your belief, the Quran said, not the Hadith, that in the day of judgment, Allah will make all the evil one black and all the good ones white. Do you challenge me? So look what the Muslims they do. They take off their racism and they throw it at you. I never saw a racist cult as much as the cult of Islam. Do you want me to show you? You know what? I will show you. Volunteerly. I mean, we'll change the topic for let us just for two minutes. It will not take long. Let us see. Let us see how this guy he can handle this. As long as he is talking about racism. You see, the Muslims they try always to change to divert the topic. Why well, you are talking about African? I'm not talking about African, I'm talking about the Nigerian Muslims. We don't present the African. You are killing the African. You are the one who kidnapped African and sell them to the white man in Europe through centuries. All the slaves who've been bought and sold and captured are captured by the North African Muslims, the Arab North African. Let us see what your prophet said, and let us see how. You will explain this to us. Allah Messenger, peace be upon him. Doesn't say, by the way, peace be upon him. It says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah pray on him and salute him. Said, Allah created Adam when he had created him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from, from it white offspring. Look how cute. As if they were white ants. Oh man, Muhammad is speaking about them. Oh, so cute. They are white because they are white. My friend, Muhammad is not racist. And he struck the left shoulder and they are emitted from it black of spring as if they were charcoal. 
do you notice here he used the word circle what is the color of the black people for Muhammad circle what sh what circle is circle is the fuel of the fire correct is that correct he is speaking about the African that they are the fuel of the fire and we will prove it continue reading and then he said who said Allah to those who've been emitted from the right shoulder which means the white for paradise and I do not mind so Allah he said to the one created from the right shoulder which we showed you already they are they are white like ants you are the one who emitted from the right shoulder the white ones you go to paradise wow and then I don't mind you don't mind and then he said to those who they are emitted from the left shoulder which is the black they are for the hell and I don't mind what is the Abdul speaking about racism the Abdul who is talking about racism do you still are you still alive my friend you still alive what if I show you that the most man Allah he hate according to Islam is a black man which is shameful disgusting racism of your God do you want to show you let me show you let me show you let me show you Ta -da -da. Here, oh, forget about this one. I will show you something more ugly. This one, this one here is about Allah will make all the kuffar black and white. <laughs> finally, finally, my dream will come true. Allah will make me white because I am not a believer. <laughs> what a stupid God. <laughs> Christian Prince, Christian Prince, we will make you black. We will make you black, Christian Prince. So Christian Prince, finally now he will find a girlfriend. Man. And this is why I'm jealous. I mean, why I'm not black? If I have a black now, I will have a girlfriend easy. But I am not black. So I don't, I cannot. Look what your God, he said about black and white. In the judgment day, Allah will send a beast. And this beast, its name is a Jassasa. I'm not going to read for you the description because it's really weird. But let us see from here. This beast is going to bring the with it the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face, which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. How nice. How nice, my friend. Your God before he take you to heaven he don't allow the black people to go to heaven he have to make every muslim white no asian nobody everybody have to be white and then and there will be no disbeliever without making a black spot in his face which he will spread until his face is black as a result so all of us for Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, all of us, we will be black. Hello, we are black, all of us. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and you are talking about racism, you idiot. Go and look at yourself. This is your God. This is the most filthy garbage teaching of racism. Where you say all evil people are black and all good, good people are white. Not only that, <clears throat> you're a prophet, he said. Oh, read with me this hadith. I seek refuge from the black serpents. Why the black? What's wrong with the black serpent? Why? <laughs> <laughs>
not only that your prophet he said or let's say this is an Islamic uh, uh, agreement of of, uh, of of killing anyone that the prophet said read with me carefully judgment judgment of Sharia in disrespecting the beloved the prophet okay what is that simply they will kill anyone disrespect him which mean like me should be killed but what you will notice that there is a punishment anyone he say the prophet is a black he should be killed you believe it Let us show you. Anyone who says the prophet was a black should be killed. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Am I making things up? If you ever say that the prophet was black, the punishment, you will be killed. Are you there, Muslims? Should I show you more or we, we go back to the topic? Zul Qurnayn, Zul Qurnayn, aha. Zul Qurnayn. Why Muhammad he praised Zul Qurnayn by the way? Because he was a blonde, he was a Roman, so they made him amazing. So to, even Allah is his worship in him. If Zul Qurnayn was black, you see, who is the one who wanted to destroy the Kaaba according to Islam? Where the chapter of the elephant speak about they were Ethiopian black. So the black always they are the enemy of Allah, the white always they are the friend of Allah. This is why he praised Zul Qurnayn and he condemned the black people, including the Ethiopian, as you see. But for us as a Christians, there is nothing like this. Black, Asian, white, it doesn't matter. The Bible says there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, there is no free, there is no slave, there is no male, there is no female. For all of us is one by God, by the Messiah, by Jesus' name. He unites us. The Bible from the first page to the last page teach that we are the children of God. The Bible says, for the for the Lord, he loved the world, not the white. And as you know, I am an Arab. And the Messiah, he came in the Middle East, not to the red head in Europe, in the middle of the world. Where all continent they meet, Africa, Europe, and Asia. And he was for everybody. Your prophet, as you see, is the one who always speak against the black people. And that because he is a disgusting man. Now we go back to our topic. Zul Qurnayn, Zul Qurnayn, aha. So Muhammad, he said, do you know where the sun goes? They replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He, the holy prophet, observed verily, it's the sun glid till reach the resting place under the throne. Then it falls to prostrate and remains there until is asked. What the Muslim now, they will say, uh, the prophet he thought he didn't he was not saying the sun it goes really he is uh you know uh, saying the sun goes uh to under the throne of allah but the throne of allah is so big so uh, come on he's talking about the sunset and he claimed that the sun is a traveling from point a to point b and then muhammad even claimed that it every day the sun asked allah to go 
and take permission to rise again arise up and go and then after it fell down under the throne of Allah the Sun will ask Allah to rise up and go to the place whence you came and it goes back and continue emerging out of from the rising place which means from the east and then it still it reached its place to rest under the throne and fall prostrate and remain in the state until it is asked rise up and turn to the place whence you came it return and emerge out from the rising place and it glitz such a normal way that the people do not discern discern anything unusual till it reach its resting place until one day this is supposed to in the judgment day the sun keep doing this, keep doing this every day. Go to the throne of Allah, rest under the throne, and then before the morning, she asked Allah to go up, and Allah allowed her. But one day, she will ask Allah to go up. Allah will not allow her to go up and raise from the east. He will say to her, "Go and rise from the west." Do you see it? What do you say? Uh, Adnan Rashid, he's speaking about the book of Genesis. My friend, this is this is a prophecy about what will happen to them, and this is not about their color, and it's exactly what is written in the book of Genesis happened. So you are being an idiot again. Now, what if I show you the same your prophet saying, Adnan Rashid? Adna Rashid, I have a challenge for you. I want you to call me and say, this is a shame. And if I show you what you showed me from your book and your prophet saying that, you promise me you spit at your prophet. Do you have the courage? Hello? Hello, Adna Rashid? Adnan Rashid, where are you? Where are you? Adnan Rashid, don't play dead. We are watching over your tail. Don't play dead. Don't play dead. Look, he's playing dead now. What happened to you? Do you have the courage to call me and read what is written in Genesis? And you say to me loud and clear, whoever believe in this is a garbage. What do you do? What do you what do you what do you say? Adnarashi? Look, he's playing dead now. He's not moving. This is the verse serve right here. Okay, why you don't call me and tell me? Okay, okay, what, what about you say to me that this is what this is the verse the slave masters used enslave the black people? I am right here. <laughs> My friend, people enslave each other. However, as long as you are talking about slavery, shall I show you what slavery is about? Who is a Muslim dare to call me and we will talk only about slavery? Who dare? How you can call me? Guys, give him my ID. Let me turn up my Skype. Call me in Skype. I will turn my Skype just for you. <clears throat> I'm waiting for you to call me. Text me first. Are you there?
Hello? Hello? Are you there, Abdul? Adnan Rashid. Somebody is asking me, do Muslims believe Allah is not inside the toilet? Allah is inside nowhere, my friend. Allah is not exist. What happened to this Adnan Rashid? I'm waiting for you, Abdul. Obviously, you know, he's just disturbing our time. Anyway, just ignore him. By the way, your prophet, he owned tons of slaves. Do you forget that or not? Jesus never owned a slave. He never captured one. He never bought one. He never owned one. Your prophet, he raped them. He owned them. He bought them. He sold them. And he captured free people and he made them slaves. This is the reality. And not only that, even in sex, if a man, he marry a slave in Islam, he will not treat her equally. Even in the case of murder, if we go in the Quran, even though we will change the topic a little bit, you will see the Quran saying the following that in the case of the murder, free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. Chapter 2, verse number 178. What kind of a filthy God your God is? Do we have any Muslim? We go back to Zulqarnain, potatoes. So the story of Zulqarnain and the sun set in the murky water is very clear evident that the Quran, which is explained by Muhammad in many hadith, is nothing but a stupid book. But yet the Muslims in their website, they say, and we quote what they say there, as you see in the screen, miraculous and the miracles of the Quran. The Quran is the book of Islam. Contains scientific knowledge that could not have known been known 1400 years ago. It's range from basic of this and this and this and that. All of this is in the Quran. And be the judge yourself. And here we go. We are the judge. Quran is the most stupid book ever you can hold between your hands. Oh, hold on. You don't see my screen. I apologize. So all of this, the Muslims, those articles about science and the Quran and the knowledge 14 years ago is nothing but garbage. Allah do not know how the baby is created, do not know where the sperm is coming from, he do not know uh, uh, how, where the sun, uh, how the sun function, he do not know how the earth is created. Uh, uh, he is he's not even consistent, he contradicts himself, in one verse he says something, in the other verse he says something else. And the funny, the Quran itself says, if this book is not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is why <clears throat> when the Nigerian Muslims call me, 
they try their best not to let me talk so the guy he will hold the mic and he will keep talking 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 because he's afraid he's terrified what I will say he will not even give me a chance to say two words if you remember the guy who just called me in you know in the last broadcast who claimed to be Ustaz I asked him who is al Qurnain he don't want to answer so I keep talking 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 okay, my friend just tell me who is al Qurnain at the end he admitted he do not know Okay, what's the Quran mean? He did not you know. He, he starts saying, "This is his. Uh, this, this is his name. Zul Quran is not a name. Zul Quran is a word in Arabic, mean the, the person with the two horn." In order to avoid to answer the question, he will hold the mic and he will not let it go, not even for a second, because he is terrified. He is scared. He do not know how to answer, and this is why they speak so fast. And they try to overcome your voice by louder voice screaming loud and then here we go he hijacked your show and then you cannot ask him a question and this is the only way to escape the stupidity of the Quran if I go back to the to the video we have uh, a few hours ago you will hear the guy <laughs> all of them you will this the second you see a guy speaking that fast it's mean he is terrified he is in the stage of panic this guy since he we spoke to him first time his image is shaky in the front of his followers people they are dropping he don't watching them no more nobody is watching his videos and people are laughing at him and even Muslims accuse me that I paid him to call me and to make Islam look stupid And as you see, I am a person who opened my Skype. I do not know who is going to call me. I have no idea, which means it can be a scholar. It can be a donkey. I never say no to anyone. Call me. They are the one who is terrified. A guy he claimed to be a scholar. Claim to be a sheikh, but he cannot read a line in Arabic. And the funny, they recite to you the Quran in Arabic, but this is not an Arabic read. They are not reading Arabic. They learn how to recite words, but they do not know how to read them. They do not know the language. The same as Ahmad Didat. Ahmad Didat, he said it clearly. I, pl I played the video for you just a few days ago. Ahmad Didat, he says, I do not know Arabic. So how Ahmad Didat was teaching all the Muslims about Quran when he do not know Arabic? Do we have any Ustaz here would like to call us? Maybe, maybe Ustaz is needed. We need an Ustaz. An Ustaz is needed. By the way, in the Middle East, we call somebody if we call somebody ustaz this is a replacement for the word donkey I'm not, I'm not joking it's just to insult somebody they say to him ustaz but this is a word is used if somebody is not an ustaz which means if you are a teacher and they call you ustaz or actually as an engineer they call you ustaz too in the Middle East but if you are not doing those two jobs and they call you ustaz this means they are saying to you you are a donkey and I am not not joking. You can ask any Middle Eastern. Ustaz, yeah, Ustaz, Ustaz, yeah, Ustaz, Ustaz, Mickey Mouse. Have you ever heard of somebody put in front of his name Ustaz? He put in front of him his name Ustaz, like you have to call him Ustaz when you speak to him. Master, he's a master. What do you what do you do like kung fu? What do you do now? Who is a Muslim want to tell us why the Muslims are fabricating those lies about miracles in the Quran? Which one of them? It is one of those miracles. Is it true? Any of them? Which one? Not a single one is truthful.
all is a fabrication the miracle of number animal language this is a new one I did not see this one before guys do you do you want to see the animal language what the heck the Quran speak about the enemy animal language yes the Prophet he said that Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds let us see this one that's so beautiful animal language <clears throat> I don't know if the text is clear for you guys so you can read. Is it clear? Let me see if I can make it bigger. Yeah, I think now is better. Human have decoded the language of some birds. For centuries, Native Americans have relied on so-called bird language. So learn where about of people and other animals that would otherwise remain invisible to a human eye okay what does have to do with the Quran let's go to the topic today we know that birds have their own language today I mean everybody knows that animals they speak to each other you idiot what are you talking about this is not today when a bird he make he is not singing for us he is talking you idiot but he's talking to other bird anyway so now this is known before nobody knows but 1400 years ago Quran said birds have their own language Quran chapter 27 verse number 16 look what it says and Solomon succeeded David he said, Oh people, we were taught the language of the birds. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Question Why Allah He taught Suleiman only the language of the birds? Oh, we have this guy Adnan Rashid is trying to call. Hold on, let us laugh. <coughs> <laughs> hello 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 adna rashid here you are adna rashid I'm, I'm here to crush all your lies tonight man that's really too much Can hallelujah allah 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 he is allah what does that mean allah it means he is allah praise to allah Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same ah, hallelujah. Ah, same. Ah. If you slow it down a bit, if you slow it down a bit, it actually says really? Ah, okay, okay. So your let's God talk, your God name end with Yah at the end? Let's talk Yah, Yah, Allah, who Yah. You can mm. say Okay, as long as you mention Yah, I want to show you something. Allah, He is, He is Allah. All right, all right, Abdul. I want you to read for me this chapter in he the Quran. Is, Jesus, not Jesus. <laughs> okay, okay, Abdul, Abdul. I want you to read for me, as long as you are the one who mentioned Halulu, yeah. I want you to read for me this verse and tell me what is that. Hold on, one hold second. on. Hold on, one, one, second. one second. Just one second. One second. Okay, one no, second, no, no, please, please. no. You are the one who mentioned it. You are the one who mentioned it. I would like you to tell me what is that, my friend. No. I, I, no. So I came on here to talk about the racism in Christianity. No problem. We will, we will, we will talk about it. We will talk about it. We will talk about it. What do you say about the the chapter says Yasin? Yasin wal Quran al Hakim. Okay, what what, is, what does that mean? <clears throat> what by What does that mean? What, what are you trying to What are you trying to get? At? Tell me what are you trying to. You tell me what you trying to get. I, at I am not trying anything. I'm just asking you what Yasin mean. I will try to correct you, hmm. and I will try to. Um, um, if it's right, I will say yes is right. If it's if it's wrong, I will try to correct you. Okay. No answer. <laughs> what do you see mean? You, I'm asking you. I'm, you're the one who's bringing it you up. The so Muslim, you no, you are the one who said hallelujah, and he says it's the same. So here we go. Yeah, seen what you see mean? It's end. It's this it here. Hallelujah is end with yeah. Here it start with yeah. Yeah, sin. What does that mean? Yeah, sin. We can if you know about Arabic. Mm -hmm. If you know about Arabic, do you know Arabic? We can start. We can start with yeah, and mm -hmm. we can also start with. 
um, we can end it with ya. Hmm. Ya ukti, ya abi. So what like, Yasin? Oh, what, what is the boy? I don't, don't you're wasting my time. What Yasin mean? Oh, 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 like oh, oh my father. Okay, what does that oh mean? Who is who, what what ya and sin mean? Go ahead. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Sin, ya yeah, sin is um uh, letters that that is basically only known by Allah, as oof, you know oof, in oof, 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 only known by Allah. So you are scolding me about we start ya oh ya oh ya oh ya e and now it suddenly it became only known by Allah. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Ya sin, as you know, hmm. alif. Lam ra, hmm. alif lam mim. There's what, so many verses what that start. What, what lam ra? <laughs> My Did friend, you, is it seen? Is it seen? Oh, or sin? No. Is the is the moon god? Listen, listen, listen. Is Chapter, it true? Is it true no, that sin no, I, is the moon god? No, it's not. What if I show I, you that? I just told you right now. Okay. Right now, there's some verses in the Quran. Like chapter two, so read with me. Here we go. Oh, no, don't don't waste my time. It says in the front of you that sin is the moon god. What do you say? No, no, it's not. Yes, here we go. Yes, sin here by the sea, etc. Was the god of the moon. Do you see it? I can't see sin, it. sin, son. This is Akkadian Akkadian name for the moon god. Do you see it? Wait, wait, wait. I have to try to. I have to try to go back on your one second. I'm not really good at technology like you, but I can definitely educate you on this one second. Hmm. So what? Where do? Where is that? I can, because if I press play on your one, it's gonna mess up with my Skype because I'm on my phone. You know, I'm using oh, my phone. All of them are on the phone, my friend. You can type in your Google, send the moon god, and you will see it. Very easy. Listen, listen. We do not worship a moon god or sun god or whatever god you're trying to make us. Okay, let yeah. me ask you. Let me ask you. Then let us see if this is true or not. I'm telling you, I'm a Allah, Muslim. Allah, just, Allah. Okay, no. hold on. I did not say you worship the moon. Oh, yeah. I did not say you worship the moon. I said you worship the moon god. There is difference between the moon and the moon god. Who is who is <laughs> who, who is the one who worship a god? He have three daughters. Oh, I met, look, look, look. A minute ago, you were saying racism in Christianity and Islam. This is what I called for. Now you're taking me three daughters. Well, you are the one who starts saying hallelujah and etc. So this is why we went there. And now you don't want to talk about it no more. Do you know what hallelujah it means? It sounds like uh, very embarrassing. Is it embarrassing you, for you? Is it embarrassing for you? What sounds like, um, which sounds more hallelujah? Does it sound like Jesus? Does it sound like, yeah, Jesus? What Jesus' does name it... is? What Jesus' name is? <laughs> It's not Jesus. That's all I know. But what 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 the name of Jesus? What the name of Jesus according to you? You're the one who worships Jesus. So you tell me what his name is. <laughs> hmm. I know his name is man. his name is Yeshua. What is the name of 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 your Jesus? Isa. What does Isa mean? I mean what Isa mean? Isa is a name given to um, Isa by Allah. Okay. Allah what the, what him... the name mean? I don't know what it means, brother. So what? What does it? Uh, so what do you mean? You do not know. So do your God know? Does it really matter? What okay. Isa so means now let let look. In, in a few minutes. In a few minutes. Okay. In a few minutes, everybody will see that Muslim know nothing, including their God. Here we go. Yasin, Allah knows best what He meant. Jesus Allah, is not. No, no, look. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Yasin, Allah knows best. Okay. Isa, Allah knows best. Uh, Abraham, Allah knows best. Musa, Allah knows best. Israel, Allah knows best. Jibreel, Allah knows best. Uh, uh, Mikael Allah knows best Ishmael Allah knows best so what what do you know so listen what do I need to know what Mikael means what what Jabril because it's means? a name you have to know why why the Jews knows you do not know listen mine look if I tell you right now my name are you gonna ask me what does that mean or you sure, say, because oh, those are not names you idiot this is not names those are not names Jibreel is not a name Mikael is not a name Adam is not a name Abraham is not a name Yeshua is not a name Isa is not a name all those are not names so now if I ask you when the Quran says the word Israel who is Israel are they numbers are they numbers who, who, is, are they who is Israel who is numbers who is Israel is it a rap is it a li lyrics from a rap song who is something? Israel you know who Israel is no I do not know you tell me I'm, 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 I want to learn from you is Jacob Okay, um, sons, one of Abraham's sons. Thank you very much. Okay. What do you learn that is, he is Jacob? Carry on. From where you learned that? In the 
in the Quran, show me. Does, do you know that? Show you me. know, in the Quran, it, it mentions it mentions Israel by name. Israel. Okay. You know, Who says, is Israel in the Quran? Can you show me where it says that Israel is Jacob in the Quran? I show you right now. All right. Show you right now. But I can't somehow the only way I could because I have a no no don't tell me I can give you 10 hours I can give you 10 years I can give you five centuries I have time I will wait for you he was Jacob was the son of Isaac this is another question where in the Quran it says who is Israel so good who oh it says in the actual in the Quran where in the actual look here look at this look at this yeah hmm. in the Quran Mikhail in the Bible is Michael in Hebrew is Mikhail. You are changing the topic. You see, you are being you are, you are playing dumb now. I'm asking you where in the Quran we can find that the Quran says Israel is Jacob. I ask you who is Israel. You say this is Jacob. Thank you. So where in the Quran we can find that? I'm gonna try to get you the actual the actual verse number, yeah. Hmm. Should I take a nap? No, you, 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 you keep talking about the bombs that you guys dropped in Japan, and I'll listen in the background. <laughs> Nuclear bomb that you guys so so indiscriminately killed mm. hundreds of thousands of people. Tell mm. me one Muslim Muslim nation or Muslim Khilafah who's ever dropped a nuclear bomb. Your prophet, like he killed nine hundred Jews, and he killed he killed all the Jews and the Christians in the Arabian Peninsula. I don't change the topic. Show me now, Jacob, and we will go to the nuclear. Bomb. We will go there. Don't worry. We will go there. We will go there. Your your God is the biggest nuclear bomb in the world. He killed everywhere, and he asked you to kill so to make him happy. But don't change the topic now. We will go back. No problem. I promise you. Now show me where in the Quran you see you Muslims are a bunch of potatoes. You try to change the topic. You jump like a monkey from a place to a place. Now in order to avoid the embarrassment, show me where in the Quran that Israel is Jacob. The children does it the, in the Quran does it mention the children of Israel? Well, we get that. Who is Israel? This is the question. Who is Israel? So, does it mention the children of Israel? My yes friend, no? this is not the question. Who is Israel? I just told you. Are you stupid or what? If I say the children of Trump, shouldn't we know first who is Trump? Oh my God! This don't say oh my God. So oh my Allah. Now, so we don't. Who is Trump Israel? Is. Who is Israel? Who is Israel? Brother, if I tell I am you, not right? your brother. I want you to answer me. Who is Israel? Israel hmm. is the son. Jake, the son of Jacob. Israel, the son of Jacob, son of Jacob and their descendants, the children of Israel. Israel is the son of Jacob, guys. Israel is the son of Jacob. Are you are you a student of uh, Mimi Hijab? Look at this. I'm telling you right now. This Jacob had twelve sons. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. And they classed as the ch look. I show you right now. Uh, 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 yeah, show me. So, guys, take a note. He said. That Israel is the son of Jacob. Uh, we, everybody heard you and repeated many times. You, you are full of knowledge. And Elijah mean God is with us. We are waiting. This is the second copy of Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, you know. Mm -hmm. Hijab already smashed your boy. Yeah, he, he is the smashed. one. Yeah, for sure. He is the one. He <laughs> said, Allah, he pray for, not to. We like it. No, he did. Okay, but if he did say that, that's up to him. Uh -huh. it. Now it's up to him. Is it him too who said too that for four thousand years, four thousand years, four thousand years, not a single Jews, not a single Jew who instructed to worship one God, he worship other God. Did he say that? Brother, now you, you go you're jumping everywhere. No, we're no, oh, no, no, we are I'm waiting for you to find the verse. I'm waiting for you. Here we go, go. I I, I saw you talking about the um the answer me where who is you say Jacob is the son of Israel show me from the Quran where it says that Jacob is the son of Israel go ahead I will show you right now hmm. I will show you right now Jacob the son of Isaac the son of Abraham we call him in Arabic Yaqub. Also, later Israel. 
Does that is that enough for you now? Where, where? Show me, show me. Where is that? Where it says that Israel is the son of Jacob in the Quran? Enough what? You gave me nothing. I'm telling. I'm as a Muslim. I'm telling you. As a donkey, you know nothing. There's nowhere it says that. As a Muslim, you have to give me a reference. As a donkey, you give me no reference. So if you are a Muslim who knows, you give me a reference. If you are a donkey, you just kick. Are you kicking or give you a reference now? Give me a reference. I will give you the reference. Okay, I'm waiting. The, you're the donkey man. You're a big donkey man. We talked about the racism that you was given out to the Nigerian Muslim, and you tried to say blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, talking like a monkey. And you're trying to okay. We, we, we will we will see. We will see that. Who, we will see who is the racist. We will see. It's your it's, it's your prophet. He said kill everyone is a black. Do your prophet said the black the the, the the black dog is the devil? So if 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 that's what if, he if, said, if, why if, did, did your prophet say is kill the black dog because he's a devil? Yes or no? If 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 did he say that? Why is no Muslims coming to kill me? If I'm Muslim, are you I'm a black, black dog? Are you a black Muslim. dog? There's no Christian or are you a black Muslim. dog? Your prophet said kill the black dog. Are you a black dog? Look at this guy, man. Brother, is this the kind of conversations you, you have? See, you see, you're the one talking about racism. You don't want to answer. You keep jumping like a monkey. I'm waiting for you to find me. Where in the Quran it says that Jacob is the son of Israel? Did you find it? Look at this guy, man. Like this guy. Swear down. And the whole thing I started was from this whole thing was the racism in Christianity. I'm waiting for you. We will go to the racism after you get me busted here. I want you to get me busted. Where in the Quran it says that Jacob is the son of a guy, his name, or oh, sorry, uh, uh, Israel is the son of Jacob. Where do you get this from? I will show you right now. Mm. And this was the legacy that Abraham left to his sons. Mm -hmm. And so did Jacob. Oh, my sons, Allah hath chosen the faith for you, then die not accepting the faith of Islam. Yeah, mm. that is Surah Al Baqarah 132. Mm. And, what, what I, what, and what I would do with this verse now? Where is where is the verse? It says to me that Israel is the son of Jacob. Are you drunk? Where is the verse? I mean, should I say it to you slow? How many times I need to repeat the question? Where is the verse it says that Jacob is the son of Israel as you claim? Can you please find me the verse where it says that Jacob is the son of Israel? Please. Let me make it slower. Where is the verse where we can find it says that Israel is the son of Jacob? Israel. Is the son of Jacob. Israel is the son of Jacob. Did you get that question or not yet? In the Surah Maryam. Go to Surah Maryam. Surah Maryam. Okay, Surah Maryam. What okay. we will find in Surah Maryam. Okay, go ahead. It will tell you the story. It will tell you the whole story. Go to that Maryam Surah. Okay, and go, okay, okay. Surah. Surah Maryam, guys. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I will go there. Okay, so, uh, Surah Maryam. Okay. Verse number what? Um, start from verse you want 40. 40? Oh, yeah, there's a few words, brother. There's okay. a few. Don't call me brother. I'm not your brother. I'm not your brother. I don't brother with I, those who worship I, the, the devil. Like now, I, answer I, me where is the verse speak about Jacob? <laughs> listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul, stop wasting my time. You are certified donkey, and I got you busted. Where is the verse that says that bastard. Israel bastard, is yeah. the son of a guy? His name is Jacob. Um, go to Surah Al Ankaput. Abdu Ankaput. Abdul, you are you told me first to go to Maryam. Did you tell me to go to Maryam while well, you are jumping like a monkey? I am in Maryam now. Where in Maryam? I told you, you read from verse 40. Okay, here we go. It's in the front of me where it says that. Keep reading. Keep I, well, reading. there's nothing. Show me which verse, which verse, where, 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 where. Read from 40, 41, 42. Okay, 40. here we go. 40, 41, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48
But they say nothing. After 20 minutes talking to me about the same question, I get no answer from you. Wait, where is the verse? It says that there is a guy, his name is Israel. He is the son of Jacob. Okay. Um, Surah Al Ankabut. Al Ankabut. Yeah, okay. Ankabut 27. Go to verse 27. That's the one you want. In the chapter of Al Ankabut. Okay, read the verse for us. Yes. And we gave Abraham. Mm. Isaac mm. and Jacob uh -huh. and ordained among his progeny prophethood and revelation. Okay. And we grant him his reward in life and was in the hereafter of the company of the righteous. Did you hear that? And we gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Whoa. And he but what does this have to do with my question? Are you a certified donkey or what? Where is the verse it says? And by the way, you got yourself busted. You got yourself busted again because Abraham, Abdul, Abdul, where is the verse? Where is the verse says, are, are you drunk or what? Where is the verse? Where is the verse? Where is the verse? Where is the verse where it says that Jacob is the father of Israel as you claim? I, I just told you right now, mm. you to ask me, Abraham, you said, where is it? That Abraham was the father I'm of not, Jacob. I did not talk about Abraham, you donkey. You are a liar. Everybody heard you. We are talking since the first second about Israel. Israel is who? You said he is. He is the son of Jacob. Everybody heard you. Israel is Jacob. Israel no, you is said Jacob. he's the son of Jacob. Just shut up no, and don't call me. Just a coward. Everybody, everybody heard you. Everybody is laughing at you. Coward. You are the one who said that he is his son. He have a woman behind him. The woman, she is smarter than him. And by the way, the verse you quote for me, you idiot, proving to us that you're a prophet is a false prophet. Because all the prophethood, they have to come from Isaac and Jacob. You quote for me a clear verse saying, that the prophethood is going to be from the children of Isaac and Jacob. And at and now we are waiting. Where is the verse saying who is Israel? Now I'm going to call you back. And I want you to get ready. And I want your wife to talk to me better than you speaking and she is telling you what to say. Shame on you. You are the man of the house, but your wife, she is telling you what to say because she is smarter than you, proving that your prophet is a false prophet. Are you ready? Are you ready, Adnan Rashid? Oh, so now you have to go back and, and refer to Jay, Jay Smith and these people here. Yeah? Why are you turning off the phone on me, man? <laughs> what you turning off the phone? What did you <laughs> what are you doing? Now, man? did you find where we can find who is Listen, Jacob and who is Israel? Can you find us who is Israel, please? Jacob, Jacob is named another name for Jacob is Israel. Uh huh. Are you, but so why you told me 15 minutes ago somebody corrected you and told you that you are a certified donkey because you are the one who said that I, Israel I is a son of Jacob. Everybody heard you. Can I say one thing? Number no, you one, cannot I say. Did you say to me? Any, did you say to me that Israel is a son of Jacob or I'm, li I'm lying? Did you say that Israel is a son of Jacob or I'm lying? If I said that, if I said that, I was mistaken. Oh, okay, so you are mistaken. Now, okay, okay, we go back to zero. We go back to zero. Who is Israel? We go back to zero. Forget about Jacob. It was a mistake. You, you being drunk. Okay, you drunk too much. Camel urine. So now, who is Israel? Oh no, I've, I've been up all night. I've been up all night talking to another live stream, so I haven't even slept the whole night. I just Poor guy. You, you call me to destroy me, but now you are. You, I, I am on all day. I'm talking. Do you know how many hours I did broadcast? It is here now, 3 30 a.m. in the morning in my time. Now I go back to zero. Who is Israel? Jacob. Who is Israel in the Quran? How you can find that he is Jacob? He's Jacob. How you know? 
Oh, now is how you know. I just a minute ago you was asking me one question, then you jump into another question. You idiot! I Aren't you the one who said to me it's in the Quran? I asked you how you know he is Israel. You said to me that Israel is son of Jacob. I said how you know that? I will show you first from the Quran, and you start searching, and then you start saying to me, "Go to chapter of Maryam, then go to chapter of Ankabut," and now I'm still waiting. So how you know who is Israel? If you want um, um, Surah Al Ankabut, mm. verse 27, mm. we gave Abraham, mm. Isaac, and Jacob. Mm. Yeah? Okay. So we know Jacob and Isaac are the sons of Abraham. Okay, nice to meet you. And what is happening with my topic? Where is the verse, Abdul? What's wrong with you? Where is the verse saying, Who is Israel? Israel. There's a guy in the Quran, his name is Israel. How I, can how I can connect Israel to Jacob based on the Quran? Is this a different question now? No, this is my question from the beginning. I'm asking you how I know who is Israel. It wasn't. You did not say that. Where? You did not say so that. So the whole Quran. So you are saying to me that your God, Allah, forget to tell you to he jump from Jacob to Israel without telling us how his name became Israel. Look, 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 man. Do you know all your Bible by heart? Yeah. So you know every Abdul. single verse of Abdul. Bible. Do you know I know or I don't know. Are you saying to me your God do not know? Are you saying to me that your God you do not know the Quran? Is definitely is definitely in the Quran. So let me let me give me a bit of time and I will find it. I will the same way I just how many how many hours you want? How many hours? I will give you until tomorrow. What do you think about that? Okay, I have a challenge for you. I will give you until tomorrow. No, no, no. I will give you until tomorrow. Do you promise me to call me tomorrow to give me the answer? You right now, man. What's wrong with you? I'll okay, here we go. Right I'm, I'm waiting. Right now, man. Right now, man. Hmm. Google, go, 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 prophet, go, go, we search you, we search you, prophet, go, go, prophet, go, go, we search you, we search you, nothing coming, nothing coming, we search you, we search you, very embarrassing, very embarrassing, we search you, we search you, prophet, go, go, please help me. Why you don't say, inshallah, maybe Allah will help you, say, inshallah, before you do search, say, say, inshallah. Inshallah, we search you, we search you, inshallah, we search you, we search you, it's not coming, inshallah, we search you, Allah is not helping me, we search you, in very sin, in very sin, we search you, the Quran is a stupid book, it did not say anything about Israel, and who is Israel, and this is very embarrassing, what a stupid book, huh? chapter 19, 58, chapter 19, 58 chapter 1958 wow okay hold okay chapter 1958 here we go yeah read it read it for me okay you read it read it here we go yeah are you reading uh, it's in front of me it doesn't say anything about jaco doesn't say anything about it. read it and we see what it says it doesn't say that read okay <laughs> you're scared to read it now yeah my friend it's in the front of me in the screen you read it go ahead everybody is laughing guys are you guys listening to your where your... where in the quran it says that israel is jacob i'm reading the verse in the front of me does it say that and the descendants of abraham and israel mm. and? yeah okay and who is israel and who is israel and who is israel so we know when we we have something called tafsir so when we ah, go on the tafsir, so a second ago you were saying it is in the quran and you were sure and now you are saying tafsir all food was and uh, now chapter 3 93 it says <laughs> all food was lawful to the children of israel except what israel had made unlawful to himself okay but who is israel who the hell is israel exactly exactly now you see exactly how you who, is who is I he who is he jacob now who? you tell me show me israel now i showed you israel now you're telling me who is he who is this one this, this is, is the question from the beginning you idiot i'm asking you from the first second who is israel this is the question are you stupid or what who is israel you said to me first he is the son of jacob but then we got your bastard we spank you your your wife oh. in the back she said to you you are stupid or what and she 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 she, she repair your mistake and now you said okay israel is the son of jacob okay sorry you said israel is jacob and then now we asking you again from the from zero we said we go back to zero 
who is Israel from the Quran? And you start looking for me for the verse in the Quran. Now I will tell you now. Hmm. In the Quran, in the Quran, hmm. it talks about the twelve sons of um, Israel. Really? Yes, what's, it does. What's their name? The twelve, 12 tribes of Israel. What? The children of Israel hmm. is the twelve. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me carefully now. It says the twelve tribes of Israel. Hmm. This is what it says. Hmm. So when we know there's twelve tribes of Israel, hmm. means the twelve different sons. Yeah. Hmm. But now in the Quran, in chapter in Surah Al Baqarah, hmm. one hundred and thirty six, hmm. it says, "Say, O Muslims, we believe in God, and that which has been sent down to us, and that which has been sent down to Abraham, hmm. Ishmael, Isaac, and Jacob." And the twelve sons of Jacob. Okay, what are you is, what, what is, what is, okay? What is the twelve sons of Israel? Oh, now okay, now is <laughs> how I will know. You see, you see how stupid you are. How I will know that Jacob is Israel? Until now, I'm asking you how in the Quran we will know that Israel is Jacob. You are saying to me that Jacob he have a twelve son. Did the Quran say that Israel have twenty twelve son? This guy now. Brother, I told you I am not Quran, your brother. I don't brother donkeys. You are a donkey or certified one. Now let me ask you. Do you think shows my hold on, hold on? Humility. We don't want to change and topic. You call me to talk about discrimination. Shall we go to discrimination so we can love together? Now let's go to the scripture. That's what we need to go to. Let's go to scripture. That's what we're here for. Mm. The scripture mm. says mm. clearly that Jacob had 12 sons. What's then it says what's the scripture? 12 sons what's scripture? Israel. What scriptures? On the Quran, okay. The Quran, where in the That's Quran what? it says who is Israel? This is the question. I just told you right now. Where in the, listen to me with the Quran, we have something called the tafsir. Mm. The tafsir mm. is scholarly commentary, the same way Bibles have commentary. Okay, let me ask on you it. which tafsir you accept. You, you, you show me which one, which one, no, no, you, you, you choose for me. What tafsir you like? Um, Tabari. At Tabari, okay. It's we will Kabir, it's Kabir, Ibn right. Kabir. It's okay, Kabir. so you like At Tabari, don't you? No, get to give me Ibn Kadir. Ibn Kathir. Give me Ibn Kadir. All yes. right, Ibn Kathir. Ibn that's Kabir. wonderful. So Ibn Kathir is good for you. Okay, so we will Let's go to Ibn Kathir. Chapter what? What? What chapter you want? Uh, two, hmm. verse uh, verse one hundred and thirty-six. Okay. And let's chapter see chapter two, one hundred forty-six. 136 one thirty-six. One hundred thirty-six. Yes. Okay. So and you are. I was so you are. You are agreeing. In the whole Quran, we cannot find anything unless we go and search other books, which Muslims they wrote a no, couple of no. hundred of years after the Quran. Okay. A little child. Maybe you can understand it because okay, you're okay. maybe dumb. No, how will Ibn Kathir will find the answer? How will Ibn Kathir he knew if it's not the Quran? We have scholarly, huh? scholarly commentary on our Quran. Okay. No Amen problem. Reading how Quran. how Ibn Kathir will know that Jacob is Israel? Because the, he's read the whole of the Quran okay. and he studied the whole of the Quran. Okay. Does for, the, okay does does Ibn Kathir says to you that the verse etc. It says that this is Jacob. Listen, hmm. listen, you're not listening to me. Let me finish my thing. Hmm. As a scholarly um, <laughs> um, as a scholarly um, um, commentary, when they mm. do it on the Quran, mm. they not only look at the Quran, they look at hadith. If you know about um, scholarly um, 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 uh, tafsirs on the Quran, mm. they look at the hadith alongside juxtaposition with the Quran. So mm. there's certain things that they can extrapolate from mm. the so you are lying to me all this time saying it is in the Quran, but in fact it's not the Quran. No, it's, it is it's somebody Quran. have to pretend that he got no. the answer by making a conclusion, correct? You're a liar. You're a liar. So show me the yes. verse that says that. Where is the verse? Until now, here we go. Ibn Kathir in front of me. I could not find one verse saying that Israel is, is who is he? Where here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Where in Ibn Kathir it says, where in Ibn Kathir, he quote for us a verse saying that this verse saying that Jacob is Israel. Listen to me. Are you listening? Are you listening or you just want to talk the whole Abdul, time? Abdul, are you are the one who asked me to go to Ibn Kathir, isn't you? Exactly. Okay. Well, I, I am I have Ibn Kathir in front of me, and it doesn't say that anything in the Quran says that. I will show you right now. Look, hmm. a little child will understand this. Maybe you can understand this. How, what do you mean? When you say a child, how old the child will be? When you say child, you're trying to insult me. What? What the child? A, a when you say to me little child, what what does that mean? 
a five, six year old will Thank understand. Thank you. So your prophet, he married a child, right? So five, six years old is the age of a child and you are a follower of a child molester and you are accusing me to be a child and little child oh. will understand. Yet you call a child the mother of the believer and your prophet at the age of 54 <laughs> slept with the child. Shame on you. How you explain to me, you call me a child, but yet your prophet, he married a six years old girl. This is what happens when Christians get caught out. They jump from we, another. No, topic you are to the one who's saying a child. Why you are mentioning the word a child? This is why you remind me of the of, of the prophet who married children. So you call me a child. I ask you, what is the age of a child? You said five, six years old. Did your prophet marry a child? I I I, I spoke to you as as kind as I could. So until now, you find me nothing about the verse. You find me no nowhere nowhere in the Quran. It says that Israel is Jacob, and you got busted. Listen, listen, mm. this is what Christians do. When I try to address you as a brother, you told me, no, I'm not your brother. No I am problem. not, because you're a liar. The Quran says you cannot call me a brother. You are a big fat liar. Why you call me a brother when the Quran is saying you cannot do that? So does the Bible. The Bible tells you that I'm, you're not allowed to invite me to your house. Or greet sure, me. Yes, no. sure, I does cannot, because no, this is not true. The Bible doesn't say that. You are a liar. Just wait, just wait. wait. The Bible okay. says those who come to you, you don't, you don't welcome them in your houses. You don't welcome them in their houses because they are teaching false scriptures like you but you're a you prophet but you're a prophet you but you're a prophet you said you're a prophet you said you cannot take even your brother and your father as a friend yes or, or wrong you love your enemies my friend yes or no this you, are, this is have nothing to do with love now you know i don't invite them to my house so they will not corrupt my children abdul now i'm asking you according to islam can you take your father and your brother as your friends um, um, did Jesus come to turn? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic, Abdul. Yes, Abdul, no, I will no, not no. let you go until I I make uh, I will make your bum red. The, the the follower of a prophet who married a child six years old, and you call me six years old child. Now I'm asking you: Are you allowed in Islam to take your father and your brother from your blood as a friends if they are not Muslims? Chapter Matthew chapter ten verse thirty five. For I have come. Yeah, you know which one this is. Yeah, mm. are, are, yeah. I, are you gonna get busted now? You're gonna mm. get busted now. Yeah, sorry, man. Let us see. I think you will get busted right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <coughs> it, says, it says in <coughs> you, it says, for I have, should we, should we do it? You <laughs> don't even know how to read it. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm because Abdul, so Abdul, let me let, let, let me show the, you how stupid you are. <laughs> let me ask you, how many people Jesus killed? There's the English standard Abdul version, donkey, the, donkey, English certified English donkey, English certified English donkey. English. You are the one who English. said, you are the one who said, English. Christians, they have English. interpretation. Shut English. up, idiot, coward. English. You said, you English. said that we Muslim English. have interpretation. I showed you Ibn Kathir. <laughs> show me the interpretation, say that Jesus killed people. No, look, listen to me, listen to me. I'm not I'm listening not, to you. I want to get you busted. You are the one who mentioned to me verse saying that Jesus, he came with sword. Show me the sword of Jesus. I have not come with peace. But Show me the sword of Jesus. Sword. Name for me. Some people, Jesus killed them. <laughs> look, in, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> what you say to me, Jesus says that, it means Jesus did that. So did Jesus bring a sword really, or this is metaphorical of what will happen to us? He said, time will come. He said, time will come. And donkeys <laughs> like you will kill us because they think they are doing favor to God. Did Jesus says that? Do not assume that I have come to bring peace to the earth. Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he bring us? Did he bring an army and he killed anyone? No. He, he will, said. He will. And read what after it. Read what after it. Listen. 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 Potato. I don't. I don't have time for dishonesty. Be honest with me. Does it say what you are saying? Listen to me. Jesus be, is going to come Be honest with me. Be honest Jesus with will me. Come back. Be honest with listen. me. Does it say that listen. Jesus he came to do war? This is what it says. Jesus will he come back? Yes or no? Shut up, donkey, son of Muta. Coward. Coward. When we in give interpretation for the Quran, we show you your interpretation. You're filthy. We don't make things up. Jesus killed no one. Jesus says, love your enemy. Jesus said, if somebody hit you in the right cheek, you give him the other one. And you are a big fat liar. The verse you are quoting for us is about what you will do to us, not we what we will do to you. This is why all the 12 apostles were killed, but they did not kill anyone. In the same time, your prophet, he said to kill the Christians. Wherever you find them, either they die or they pay. 
coward filthy liar hypocrite this is who you are there is no point of speaking to someone he have no dignity all of us renew the verses he's quoting you can go and open any Bible and read any interpretation first of all we will see if Jesus killed people we we'll say okay well this is what Jesus did if Jesus have an army we'll say Jesus he said let us have an army if Jesus said go and, and kill he, then we we'll say okay he killed them and he have an army and he occupy countries if Jesus own slaves we we'll say Jesus is a slave owner but none of that happened Jesus in the cross he said forgive them father they do not know what they are doing this is my Lord while your prophet was raping children's kidnapping women from their husbands like what he did to Sophia he made her walk over the dead bodies of her family he killed her husband he was she was a very newly married she's a bride he killed the husband he killed her father he killed her brothers and he raped her in less than an hour after he killed them all cowards chapter 9 verse number 23 it says you cannot take even your family as a friends and as long you call me to spoke speak about uh, racism racism And you are the one who asked me to go to Ibn Kathir. Racism. Let us see what Ibn Kathir he said about racism. Or you want me to show you Muwatta Malik and see what he spoke about racism? Or hold on, hold on. Let us go first to the Quran. Al Hurru bil Hur. The free white man for the free white man in the case of murder. Black slave for a black slave in the case of murder. Female for a female in the case of murder. Your stupid God, he decided to divide the people into three kinds of people. Free, slaves, women. Where is justice in this? If we go and read the chapter 2 verse number 178 and as long you like Ibn Kathir, I can take you to Ibn Kathir. Shall we go there or you want uh, something easier to read? 2 178 <clears throat> This is your God. Your prophet, he owned slaves, he raped slaves, and he made the free people slave. <clears throat> Guys, read with me carefully. Let us make it more clear here, this page. A free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave. People, do you see it? If we go right now and we search for something called the blood money in the Hadith. Let us see all those stories about the blood money and you will see how the God of Islam and Muhammad he discriminate people they are not equal all of this read it and Muwatta Malik is the best to expose Muhammad and his madness 
Yahya related to me from Malik, from etc., from, 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 from. The slave, the slave is a fair complex compl uh, completion, and excellence is estimated 50 dirham or dinars or 60 hundred. Sorry, 600 dirham. The blood money of a free Muslim woman is 500 dirham or 6,000 dirham. Malik said. The blood money of a fetus of a free woman is tenth her blood money. The tenth of is fifty dinar. Oh, so all here, the, the rest. This is the menu. The menu of the price of a slave person who was killed or a free person who was killed, and we will notice that all all of them they confirm that he is not equal to other human. Did you find Jacob or not yet? Hello, yeah, you again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you are calling me? <laughs> I uh, I saw the topic. Can you go to uh, chapter ninety-one, verse one to two? <laughs> chapter ninety-one, verse one to two. Okay. What do you want to tell me about? Uh, that the Quran says. Chapter ninety-one. Sun... You said ninety-one, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, ninety-two or ninety-one? I forgot. Mm hmm. Which one? There's a shams and there's a light. Which one? <coughs> Wait. It's uh wait. Mm. <coughs> Yes, it's uh, chapter 91. Okay, what about it? It says that the moon follows the sun. Wow, <laughs> really? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Okay, but hold on, hold on what it says. By the sun and her brightness and the moon when she follow him. Okay, follow him who? Follow the sun. Hmm. Follow in what? Follow the sun. Hmm. Does it say follow really? Or it says come after. Yes. It says in Arabic talaha. Okay. Okay. Talaha means it came after. So uh, your God is assuming that the sun is first and then the night come after. Is that correct? Oh. What did it say? I don't know. Do you tell me? It says and the sun by the brightest of the sun and by Allah swearing by the sun brightness and then and by the moon which follow. Which mean come after? Yes. Okay, so does do the do the moon really come after the sun? Uh, everything follows the sun. No, it's not it about following. Follow no, it's, here it's not about following. It's about it's coming after. Let me see. Do you want to see the interpretation? Let me see the uh, Arabic dictionary. It says talaha, talaha. It came after. Go read the dictionary. Okay. Hmm. Is it going to take you long? No. Okay. All right, I copied it. Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I got it. What the fuck? Don't use bad language when you call me. Sorry. Okay. Read with me, read with me. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, what it says? Uh, wait, wait.
Yeah, it says here. Um, in the dictionary, it says follows. Okay, follow and follow and by timing. That's what follow me. Okay, so now what we would do? It says here, and by the moon, when it follow her rising after she has set. Is that true? Oh. No. This mean the Quran. <clears throat> No, it doesn't say that. It, it says, says that in it's front followed. of you. Read, read with me. Read with me. This, this is Tafsir Jalalain. Do you see it? Uh, I don't care what the Tafsir says. Okay, what Tafsir you like me to show you? You don't like this one. We we change it. Which one you like? Oh, well, listen. I I care what Quran says. It says the moon. It says the moon follows the sun. Hmm. I see. So you think the Quran is telling us that the moon is going uh, around the sun? No, it's uh Everything follows the sun in its uh, way, not in its orbit, but it follows it. In so its why way, he is in not saying the why he is not saying and the earth follow the sun too? I don't know. No, you don't know. Okay, okay. As long as we are talking about the moon and the sun and etc., and look like you like this topic. Uh, uh, can I? Uh, okay. Can hold I, uh, on. Hold on. Hold on. When your prophet he said the sun goes and sit under the throne of Allah, is the moon yes. following the sun at that time or no? Uh, mm, it, it's it, it's not mentioning the physical uh, sun. No, no, no. It mentioned physical sun. He so he was talking about no. where where the sun set. He said the sun goes and travel. And, and the Quran says that it's in an orbit. Okay, and in your prophet he quoted that verse exactly. Your your prophet he said to be show you. Here we go. Yeah, uh, he says for a specific term, but uh right, and he uh, said for a specific term, and he called for us the Quran. So he, you know, here we go. Let's go and see. I already saw. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. You know, you already you saw. Uh, yeah. You are trying to avoid yeah, okay. it because that that will will prove that uh, Islam is a stupid religion. Okay, read with Can me I, carefully. Uh, read, read me yes. carefully. Does it say? Does it say that your prophet is quoting the verse you are quoting for us, chapter thirty-six, verse number thirty-eight, that the sun goes in an orbit, and this is a fixed course which is under the throne of Allah. Yes, but okay. uh, this is not mentioning the physical sun. Ah, this is not visible sun. Oh, hold, hold on. Uh, but here, uh, listen, listen. I don't have time to talk to stupid. There is visible sun, not visible sun. Don't be stupid. Muhammad was going in the mosque, going out, and he said, "Do you know where the sun goes?" I said, "I do not know." He's saying, "Where the sun set? This is the visible sun. Is it visible yeah, sun okay. or not?" No, it's the spirit. Good. It's, it's a spirit, guys. The sun is a spirit, and you say to me, "Why I block them?" I cannot find one Muslim is not a crazy. The sun is a spirit. <laughs> And Jacob and Israel is the son of Jacob. <laughs> and Elijah mean God is with us. <laughs> and you are a child five, six years old. <laughs> what a stupid nation. You are like a child. What do you mean, a child? Like, what age? What age? What do you mean? Are you trying to insult me? Like, five, six years old. Isn't it your prophet to marry five, six years old? You do, okay? How, how hypocrite you are. So, if you just admitted that a child in the age of five, six is a stupid, what in the world made your prophet to marry a child five, six years old? They have a low IQ, they have a stupidity. They have a big mouth and this is exactly what happened with the nigerian you see this guy he called me he don't wanted me to talk <laughs> jesus said i did not bring peace <laughs> all of us we knew what this verse mean otherwise jesus should be ordering us to kill actually imagine if jesus he meant that all your Muslim countries will be burned. He said, you are proud about nuking people by nuke. If you have nukes, you Muslim, you will burn the whole world. You don't do it because you don't have it. 
Your prophet is the first to do genocide. The Turkish, they killed millions of Armenian and Assyrian and Christian Syrian and etc. ISIS, go and see what they did. If you Muslims have nuclear weapon, what you will do? We have it, but we are not using it. If you have it, what you will do? Cowards. Do we have any Abdul? If 9-11 happened, and 9-11 happened in an Islamic country which has the power of America, I guarantee you that that Muslim country will wipe the enemy by nukes. And look what the American they did. They did not nuke Afghanistan until now. If they nuke them, they do not need to go to war. Afghanistan is finished. That's it. There's no Taliban. There's no Al Qaeda. No, they nuke them. They are gone. History. The Muslims are very racist, and they speak about racism. If we ask this guy who called us, why your prophet, he said, kill every black animal? He will not talk about it. Not only that, Muhammad, he said, that the worst enemy to Allah is a black man. Black man, the worst enemy. Let us see. Now chatting. Oh, what's your name? Okay, let me chat. I want to convert to Islam. I know my name is. Uh, uh, <laughs> Guys, do you remember once I chatted with Muslim website, and uh, uh, I asked the uh, in the chat. I think the website like convert to Islam something. So I asked them. You know, uh, I have a question about Islam. Why? Why? Uh, you know. Why you you Muslims kiss the black stone? They said because no. I said why the prophet kiss the black stone? They said because it's holy. I said and why it's holy? They said because the prophet kiss it. <laughs> and why the prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. <laughs> Read. <coughs> Let us see. Hmm. Look what the hadith says about Allah. The most person he hate ever is a black person. He don't hate anyone more than this person. Never. This is the most person Allah he hate. Read carefully with me. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is the one a black man among them and here they put the word khawarij by the way it doesn't say the word khawarij at all in the hadith so it doesn't matter really who is uh, uh you know it's a black man the most person in the whole universe allah he hate is a black man why muhammad trying to make the most evil person in the world is a black man Why he is a black man? What about being a redneck? Why always the ugly, the bad, the 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 the, uh, the criminals always in Islam they are the black? The black dog is the devil. The black cat is the devil. And here the devil is a man who is a black person. Even Muhammad he claimed. That the one who will destroy the Kaaba, his name, he made fun of his uh, his uh, his legs because he's a black person. 
Look what he said. A black person who is from Ethiopia. Who is the one who will come to destroy the Kaaba? Which is the devil? Is an Ethiopian man who have a small chunks. He's making fun of his legs and he called him he have funny legs they are skinny who is he a black person the most person Allah he hate is a black person the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black person the chapter of the elephant speaking about the ones who came to destroy the Kaaba they are Ethiopian black the devil is black the black dog should be killed because he is black, which make him the devil. Muhammad, he called the black people uh, 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 raising head. The Quran says in the judgment day, Allah will make all the Muslims white and all the non-Muslims black. What is left? What kind of cult this cult is? And they will say to you, we are quoting a weak hadith. We are not. Those are, here we go, this is Sahih Bukhari. And the hadith about the black person who Allah he hate, this is Sahih Muslim. All is Sahih. But the only game they play in order to avoid the disaster is to say, Oh, this is this is weak. Anything you say to them, this is weak. If you have my books, you will find where it's speaking about how Allah cursed the children of Ham. And not only that. The God of Islam, he confirmed that Allah, he created the black people to go to hell. Allah Messenger said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder. Always the right shoulder is the shoulder of the truth and the good. The left shoulder is the shoulder of the evil. This is why Allah, he have two hands in the right shoulder, but you don't have any hand in the left shoulder, which make him look like an octopus, stupid octopus. So he hit him in the right shoulder, and they are emitted from, from it, which means the right shoulder, the offspring, which are white, white offspring, as if they are white ants. He struck his left shoulder. And they're emitted from the black from it the black of spring as if they were circle and circle is the fuel of fire so Allah will make the black the fuel of fire then he said to those who they are emitted from the right shoulder go to paradise and I don't mind and he said to the ones who emitted from the right, left shoulder go to hell and I don't mind so from the beginning of the time according to Islam Allah created the black people to go to hell and you are talking about racism if you are a black person and you believe in the cult of Muhammad shame on you even in the Sharia law if somebody says the Prophet is a black he must be killed there is no forgiveness for such a crime no forgiveness We give always reference, we don't say things without reference. Whoever say the prophet is a black, kill him. Why? Because you are simply insulting the prophet. We just show it to you in English, so you don't say oh it's in Arabic, we do not know Arabic anyway. They do not know Arabic, they do not know the Quran. 
anyone who says that the prophet was black should be killed do you see it who is your prophet I mean what kind of a, this guy is talking about a nuke so according to your Quran any the nation of Islam they call the nation of Islam because they consider Muhammad was a black according to Islam which you should nuke them because they say that Muhammad was a black man which is a lie even there's tons of hadith speaking about how white his underarm how white his butt how white his legs how white his feet how white between his fingers everything about how white his cheek if you go right now and search for the descendant of Muhammad videos in YouTube you will find a list of redhead people the Muslim they did not put any picture of someone he is not blonde totally redhead not only blonde let me show you so you will not say making we are making things up because the Muslim they will not accept Muhammad to have descendant who they are not blonde they have to be very white even his wife Aisha they call her al Humaira, which means the blondie and Muhammad himself he color his head to be red because he don't want to be a person who is not white and blonde otherwise I change you to tell me why he wanted to his hair to be to be blonde actually the Muslims are forbidden from coloring their hair black I'm looking for the videos. Look at this madness. I wish I can play the video for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. This is the descendant of a prophet Muhammad. <laughs> they have a list of very blonde people. I don't know even where they get those. Muhammad don't have a children's. What do you mean the descendant of Muhammad? Look at this face. He have eyeliner. He have makeup. Muhammad, by the way, he would eyeliner. And he is extremely white and I feel I want to vomit because this is not normal actually this face I don't know so, so something wrong with it he looked like a ghost and those are the descendant of the Prophet Muhammad the face of the descendant descendant of the Prophet do you see the the title you can go and search the video for you, yourself Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause it for you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Dating website in every uh, Islamic dating website each time you open YouTube. <clears throat> I wish I can show you the video, but I don't want to show it because they, they might say. Uh, uh, you know copyright over it let me post the link for you so you can see what I'm talking about and how the Muslims are obsessed with white color Let us change the picture. Ugh, I don't want to see that. Any Abdul? Can you show me where Christianity teach if somebody says Jesus is a black kill him?
in the place I I, I stay in uh, when I moved to this place there was a little picture look like you know actually the the ones who used to live in this uh, place here uh, they, they are white people but they have a picture of Jesus as a black person you know and honest to God I still have it where they have it the since I moved in I did not take it off I don't have it in the like a, it's like a small room I have inside so Jesus is a black I did not get upset and I will not be offended and for me, I don't care for for how for me, I don't accept pictures anyway, you know. But just because people they have it there, I respect their, you know, this is what what they what they have in the wall. I keep it there. But for me, I don't care if if what if Jesus came as an African, still he is Jesus. What if he came as an Asian, still he is Jesus. We are the last one to care of the color of Jesus. But in Islam, it's a big deal to say Muhammad is white. It's an insult. You will die, you will be killed. People in Islam are not allowed even to go to heaven unless they are white. Which gospel was given to Jesus? That's a stupid of you, my friend, because Jesus, he is the one who gave the gospel, not gospel given to him. <laughs> it's God, you idiot. Not like your Muhammad, he'd been squeezed by the angel, and which Quran he gave him? He gave him seven Quran. And now we cannot find the seven Quran. So when you say which gospel was given to Jesus, that's because you are certified like them. Even the Quran said that Jesus, when he was in the cradle, he spoke the word of God. For Jesus is the word of God. So even in the Quran, Jesus is the walking, talking, living word of God. Muhammad, he waited 40 years, and after three squeeze, still he did not get it. His wife, she took him from his hand as if he's a child to her cousin, and her cousin... And the cousin of the cousin, he told him, Hey, Muhammad, I think you became a prophet now. The guy who squeezed you, I think he's an angel. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, boy. No problem, my friend. We educate all. And, and the, one of the funny uh, uh, statements Muslim they say to us, uh, was Jesus a Christian? <laughs> no, my friend, he was not. I assure you that. How in the world, you Muslims, are, you are very funny. How we are called a Christian because of his name. How himself is going to be a Christian? I mean, you Muslims are hilarious. Was Allah a Muslim? Yes. Allah, he took shahada. I can show you in the Quran. Have you ever heard of a God he convert to Islam? Welcome to Islam. Allah himself, he took shahada. Allah, he worship, uh, Jesus, he worship. Allah, show me. Call me. Call me and show me how Jesus worship Allah. I challenge you. Very funny, Muslims. If Jesus he worship Allah as you claim why he did not mention his name and why his heaven the heaven of Allah is different from the heaven of Jesus why in the heaven of Allah your penis will be in this in the heaven of Jesus you will be holy no sex hmm? if you have the same God as the Christians then you should have the same heaven your heaven is nothing but a pimp house like Las Vegas, a bunch of prostitutes waiting for us there, and we do gambling. Is Adnan Rashid still alive? Is Adnan Rashid still alive? Because I'm thinking to call him. Maybe he can say something to us. Is he still here? Adnan Rashid. Okay, hold on, hold on.
Guys, do you feel like having fun with Adnan Rashid? Give him a chance. Shall we give him a chance? <coughs> Let us give him a chance. Poor guy. <coughs> Answer Adnan Rashid. Why are you scared for, man? I keep calling you. Man. Now you because you're a liar. I'm not going to waste my time. So I'm going to ask you for the final time. Why am I did Jesus lie? really Who's meant? Liar? Did Who Jesus really lie? meant? Let me, my friend. Let us let us be honest. Did Jesus really that, meant when he yeah, said, "I brought sword"? Did he really say, "I came to do war"? Yes or no? All those people that thought I was lying about calling him back and back. You see, I'm not lying. He wasn't answering. He just called me back right now after like. 20 minutes yeah so you're because Christian you don't Christian. let me talk you don't let me talk i have to shut you up so we can talk and then now i'm calling you now did you did you hear what i said did you hear what i said did i did you hear what i said i heard exactly what you said okay so the one who says that the prophet is a black should be killed why you didn't brother I, you just told me now the, jesus came with a sword now you tell me the prophet is black why are you jumping? Okay, Can here we go. Okay, did please. Jesus really did, did really Jesus bring a sword? Yes or no? He is gonna bring a sword mm. in the end times. He's mm. gonna say, mm. "Bring those who do not believe." In Let me read. Let's read the verse. Mm. You wanna read? We can read the verse. Mm. When he says, "Bring those who do not believe in front of me mm. and slay them," mm. slay. He will say that, that. He will say that to who? You tell me. Who you tell me? You're a Christian. So read the know. verse. Read the verse. You're the one who quoted the verse. Read the verse. Read the verse. Jesus is gonna come down. Read the verse. Read the verse. Okay. I I didn't say. I didn't say. Did I say no? I didn't say no. I said. I said. He said that to who? He is giving orders to who? We're gonna read it now. Read it now. Luke chapter nineteen twenty seven. Okay, you want to read it or should go I ahead, read it? Go ahead, Luke 19. Um, which which international version, living translation, read whatever you want for me, a translation, a translation, no problem. Go ahead, okay. And these enemies of mine who are unwilling for me to rule over them, bring them here mm. and slay them in front of me. Mm. And so what does that mean? He is ordering who? I asked you, who is he is ordering who? This is what it says in the Bible. I know, so I know. He is ordering who to slay to who is the one going to slay? Can you educate me on that, please? My friend, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking uh, please, please. I'm asking you. You know, I'm asking you, you, you no, are, you, are you reading the chapter or are you are reading the verse? I'm reading a verse. Okay, you so you are quoting you are quoting from a Muslim website, correct? No, I'm I'm quoting from biblehub.com. Okay, as long as you are quoting from the Bible, so you should say there Bible, he is ordering who? He is ordering who? Um, let me see. The other one says, "As for these enemies of mine who do not want me to be their king, mm. bring them in and execute them right here in front of me." This mm. is New Living Translation. Mm. And this so, is about what? This is about what? According to your understanding, so, according to your honesty, this is about what? Um, it, this seems to me that is the talking about when he comes back. Thank you. So you just admitted, you just admitted that Jesus is God, and you Muslim, you say, "Where Jesus is, I'm God." Jesus make a judgment that so those. Is, hold on, you ask me to answer you. I'm answering you. You ask me to answer you, right? If you wanna, if you wanna shout, make me shout. Then I have to hang up on you because we can't talk at the same time. No, I'm listening. I'm okay. listening. So oh, in the away. second coming, Jesus will order the angels to bring those who did not believe in him and slay them for his God and he have judgment. Hold on, let me answer. So this is a proof that Jesus is God. That's number one. Number two, don't you Muslim believe that God is going to punish even he will torture people? Even the Quran says will insert in your anus 70 cubit chain. This when the Quran talks about punishment, mm. this is in the hereafter. But for this me, is the hereafter. This is the hereafter. This is the coming back. This is the coming no. back. This is the judgment day. This is the this judgment. Is the, this is the judgment day. The second coming of Jesus. Will he come to earth? 
this is will be the judgment day there's nothing is called okay. coming there's nothing is called coming to earth when the second oh, come when the second ask. day come hold on hold on don't be stupid the second come Jesus will not come and live between us Jesus will come and he will take the righteous those who belong to him and he will bring judgment over people like you who worship a black stone and kiss it and follow a, a, a pervert man like Muhammad and then he will say bring them those people who insulted me those who rejected me those who insulted me and said bad things about me bring them and slay them for he is God and you will deserve the punishment at that time because it's a judgment day why would Jesus order you to love your enemies because yeah, at the Jesus. judgment day there's nothing about love no 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 hold on you see uh, he ordered me you see hold on hold on hold on he ordered me to love my enemy this is him God the God who created you is going to take from you what he he gave you he gave you life he will take it and let me ask you did your God Allah order the flood of Noah yes he did okay is that love or hate and um, Noah as you know was preaching to those people this is another question when the flood of Noah Listen, can I answer? You ask me a question. Mm. Let me give me. I, I gave you the courtesy to answer mm. your one. Let me answer my one now. Mm. Yeah. With Noah, Noah was a prophet. Mm. Noah went out and God told him to preach, um, and he was preaching for over 900, 950 years. We told in the Quran. Mm. So the people that was um, getting preached nine hundred and fifty years, and they didn't believe his um, judgment, and he actually told them. There's gonna be a flood. He didn't hide it. He said there's gonna be a flood. Mm. They actually saw him building um, the actual ark, mm. and they were laughing at him. They were telling him, "Look at this. What are you doing? What are you doing?" Like they actually thought he was a madman. So, mm. and he kept warning them and warning them. So, if you warn people for 950 years, mm. and they still don't believe me, and they still don't believe that I'm being um, just and I'm coming from God, mm. then that is their fault. Okay. That is so Jesus is warning you. Jesus is warning you for the last two thousand years, and you don't believe. And then when judgment day comes, he will he will he will put punishment on you. The Bible, not once does it say okay, hold that on, Jesus hold he is God or worship him. You, ju it, you just gave me one. You are the one who gave me one. No. He, okay. Did he say Jesus. God, what what is the authority? Me. What is the authority of Jesus to give people order to slay those who don't believe in him? He is coming. As a prophet, he as, comes a prophet. as a prophet, so as a prophet, is that is that really what, what the Bible says? Is that this is this is really your belief? The Bible says that he will come as a prophet. Be honest. My belief now. Okay. My belief. So don't mix things up. So you said to me, where in the Bible it says that that the chapter in the front of you says that. So you are saying to me, where in the Bible it says Jesus? He said, I'm God. Let me ask you. The, hold, on, of, hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on. So now, if I show you verses in the Bible that says Jesus said, "I am God," are you going to accept them? If if you show me Jesus Himself, Himself mm. says, "I am God," and He says, "Worship Me," I will accept. Christianity oh, only today. if you say that. No, only if he said he himself. Okay. I don't want to hear Luke. I don't want to hear Matthew. I don't want to hear Paul. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear none. I want to hear Jesus, the red okay. letter Bible. But, but do you want it word letter. by do you want it by word by word? Like we have uh, Jesus, you have to design it the way you want it. I want it word by word, the same way Allah in the Quran says, "Worship me, hmm. I am Allah, I am God." The same way that we in our so Quran if says. So he did not say that, then you have you, you will not accept that, right? And how many pages are there in the in the Bible? And 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 in in how many verses and how many thousands, right? Okay. Of all those thousands and thousands we have of pages, to put it in the, we have to put it in the order where it says, "I am God, worship me." Is that correct? Oh, so now you want to do the tafsir on the Bible? No, we don't. Know, we don't want to do tafsir. I'm asking you. We have to do it in the same order you order for us. It's like a pizza order for you. We have to make a design for you. No, I want, brother. Listen, I'm a layman in Christianity. Someone who is trying to practice and and what is happening in the Bible and trying to decide. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. If Jesus said, if 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 his disciple they say to him, show no, no, us God, no. did the disciple to say me. to Jesus, hold on, did this did, did the disciple say to Jesus, show us God? I'm listening. I'm asking you, did the disciple of Jesus say, show us God? Um, how ye of little faith? That's what he says. That's what he replies. This to is another right? question. They, they, no, I'm, they, I'm telling you what he replied to them. I'm, okay. I'm giving you the, no problem. You the no, I am asking you, did the disciple of Jesus say to him, show us the Father, show us God? Yes or no? 
Can you can you tell me which um, passage it says so I can bring okay. it up? Okay. So if Jesus said, "I am Him, your God," is that enough for you? Show me exactly where that says. Okay. Go to John chapter. Go to John chapter fourteen. Um, which verse? Which verse? Okay. Yeah, which verse? One, two, read, three, four, read, you can read it from verse number one if you want, but you can go to verse number eight. Okay, number one. <laughs> We're gonna do one now. Okay. Which 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 one do you want? International version, leaving standard. I don't know. International version is not really a good translation, but anyway, you can read whatever you want. Okay, in it says um this shows that Jesus clearly distinguishes himself from God. My friend, don't he tell said, me he shows the screen grace, blah blah blah. You ask me to say where Jesus says I'm God worship me, read it. Okay. Uh do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me as well. Where are you what, what, is that what verse you are reading? Verse one. From the Berean no, I sent for you. Okay, hold on. Let, let me play the, the let me play it for you. So, uh, can you can you please uh, mute yourself a little bit so we can uh, play the verses? Hold on. Don't talk. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll John fourteen. Talk. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my hey, Father's house, and in my exactly. Nations. Did you hear that? If it were not so, I would... hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't I, I? I asked you. I asked you kindly to shut up so we can play. Respect yourself. Speak as an adult. Let me show you what Jesus said. Shut up. Told you, I go to prepare place for you, and if I go and prepare place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth. And the life no man cometh unto the father but by me if ye had Amen. known me shut up ye should have known my father also and from henceforth ye know him and have seen him philip saith unto him lord show us the father and it sufficeth us jesus saith unto him have i been so long time with you and yet hast thou not known me philip he that has seen me has seen the father and all right so the one who see Jesus, he saw God. Same time, Jesus said, I am the life. So I am Jesus, the way. Hold on. Hold Jesus, on. Shut up. Shut up. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. You, okay. uh, you asked me to answer you. I'm answering. Okay. Apologies. Jesus Apologies. said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am. This is how God, he present himself to Adam. So to, to Musa. Musa asked God. What I will say to my people, what, what's your name? He said to him, I am. This is his name. And then Philip, he said, Philip, he said to him, Lord, show us the Father. Hey, stop lying. You're using English translations of a Hebrew text, of a Greek text. So now you don't like the translation. Now you play the game of translation. Now you don't like it. <laughs> I you ask you to read any translation you want. Read any translation you want, you idiot donkey. You see how liar you are? So you oh. you say to me, who are yeah. you? Okay, if yeah. we go right now and read, okay. If I show you now, if I show you now, hold on, shut up. If I show you now the Aramaic Bible, which is the original, what you will say, you reject it too? Show, now listen. You just said you brought <laughs> Moses. Into it. You said he said he said to Moses, "I am." Then you're trying to use that same "I am" that he said to Moses. No, not only that. He said, "I am the way. I am the life." Is is Muhammad the, is Muhammad the truth? Is Jesus the destination or the way? My friend, there's nothing is called destination. Don't 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 play games. Listen, is Jesus? I, is, just, hold on, the, hold hold on, shop. hold on. Is this, is, is, is it? The is, shop? Did your Absolutely. God did your God is, steal the names of Jesus? And he said, "I am the truth." Yes or no? No, he didn't. Listen to me. What, listen oh, to shut me, up. Listen shut up. What, if I, show, what if I show you that from the Quran? Is it 99 names of Allah? One of them is the truth? No, listen. You told me. Is it that 99? You me oh, hold on. Hold on. Is it 99 so, of the Allah? It's it, it, no. the resurrector. So, <laughs> Jesus, I am the life. I am the way. I am the truth. I am, I, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. And yet, you are saying to me, and they said to him, Show us God. And he said, The one who saw me, he saw God. Can you say that the one who saw Muhammad, he saw God? 
you showed me right now you said you were going to show me clearly where jesus himself get lost i showed you your donkey and you are blocked just everybody will know that i blocked you i don't talk to people who have no dignity and no honesty it's a waste of time if this is does not mean that he is God what is meant to be God I am the way I am the truth I am they said to him show us the father he said I am with you all this time and you do not know me if you had known me you should know you should have known my father Philip says, Lord, our God, show us the Father. He said to him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip, he that has seen me has seen the Father. The one who saw me, he saw God. What more Jesus need to say to you that I am God worship me And the verses continue Believe though not I mean we can read the whole chapter but look at this hypocrisy of those people. Show me, and then we show them. He start now. Oh, you are reading translation. Ah, you are. <laughs> the funny. The funny. Jesus, he said that he is God, in tons of places in the Bible. And yet they say to you, show us. When Jesus came to the Jews and he said to them, what do you say of Christ? The Jews they say he is a son of David. Right, he said, if he is the son of David, then how David call him God, Jehovah. That is Jesus' statement, and he is quoting from the Old Testament. And we can find that in Matthew 22. If he is the son of David, then how David call him my Lord, my Jehovah? How? Who is the one saying that? Jesus, not the disciples. Let me show you the verses so everybody can see what we are talking about. This is why, you know, for me, for actually from long time, I decide I'm not going to shout because I'm losing my voice. I'm having a headache, shouting, screaming, and it's a waste of time. If you play games with me, I don't have to talk to you. Because I made my point, people they can judge, and they have hundreds of people watching, and they can tell who is the one is telling a lie. So you can play games as much as you want, but I'm not going to waste my time with you. I get you busted. I showed you that Jesus is God, and not only that. In the Quran, in chapter 19, verse number 19, Jesus is the Holy Son. He is holy, while Muhammad in the Quran is a sinner, big time. He is a holy, holy son of who? Muslims have no answer. Who is the father of Muhammad? A sinner, a pagan man. Who is the father of Jesus? According to Islam, they have no answer. But the truth is, According to Islam, Allah is the one who made Mary pregnant, and the one who made my mother pregnant, he is my father. 
as simple as that who is your father is the one who made your mother have a delivery who is the father of Jesus in the Quran in chapter 19 it says nay I am only a messenger from the Lord which means supposed to be from Allah to announce to thee the gift of a holy son that is Jesus he is holy before even his birth and not only that the Quran says Salamun alayya yawma walittu wa yawma amutu wa yawma ub'athu hayya peace upon me the day I am born the day I die and the day I will be resurrected nobody have such a privilege in the whole cult of Islam now if we go to Matthew chapter 22 Yeshua asked them, Yeshua, Yeshua, he asked them, and he said, What are you saying about the Messiah? Speaking to who? To the Pharisees, the Jews. Who is son is he? They were saying to him, The son of David. He said to them, And how did David by the Spirit call him? The Lord Jehovah. Do you see it, guys? This is the Messiah explaining himself to the Jews. How clear Jesus can make it for us that he is Jehovah. <laughs> if therefore David call him the Lord Jehovah how is he his son so the Muslim they say to you that the Bible says that Jesus son of man this is Jesus calling himself such a name because simply he is coming in the flesh but all of us we knew that he is son of no man and for the Jews it's a big honor to be called the son of David by birth Jesus by birth supposedly he should go all the way to David but as you see David is not really what Jesus is proud about he is the Lord of David David himself is a praying to his Lord the Messiah while David is an honor for every Jew to say I am from the children of David and yet they say to you where Jesus said I am God worship me and by the way if Jesus said I am God worship me but he was the same as Allah I will not worship him who care if he says that or not is it by what he say or what would I do name one thing for me your God was able to do as Jesus your God people they keep asking him Muhammad why your God cannot give a miracle Muhammad he received from Allah confirmation saying I refrain from sending miracles Jesus did not refrain he was giving miracles non-stop and the miracles of Jesus is beyond imagination reached to the point of a creation according to Islam from the mud a bird and he breathed into it the Muslim they say by permission of Allah prove it secondly Allah he now give me permission to insult him what permission what a joke who is the one who gave Jesus the power of a creating from the mud if you say to me God that's mean God now he share his creation ability with a man why he did not share that ability with Abraham with Muhammad with David with anyone why only Jesus can create they have no answer and for sure the Muslim kids they will say where well, Jesus said I am God worship me did he say that you did not show me any I can show you until until tomorrow reference 
But it doesn't matter what I say. You will not accept. Because you are following the devil. You are possessed inside you with the evil teaching of Islam. You see, have you ever heard of a Muslim making fun of Mary giving birth to Jesus as virgin? Never. Why? Is that because it is logical according to Islam? There's no logic in, in, in Islam. I challenge any Muslim to tell me why Mary she was virgin in Islam. Doesn't make sense. In Christianity, it makes sense for he is son of God. But in Islam, there is no sense. Every human being, I mean, what that will do? Why Jesus have to be the son of no man? What 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 the point? There is no point. Muhammad is supposedly the greatest prophet in Islam, and he is a son of a woman, she is a pagan, which means she have no honor in the front of God. His father is pagan, he have no honor in front of God. Why Jesus have to be holy in every way, in every mean? To the point even he is not coming from a sexual relationship. You know what I'm saying? That is my Lord, my friend. So stop fooling yourself, says, show me where Jesus says I'm God. Every phrase in the Bible, every statement of Jesus saying that he is God. And if Jesus said that he is God, but he cannot do what God do, then he is not God. The Muslim, they say to you that Jesus says nobody knows the judgment day, but my father, but Jesus, he told you when the judgment day will be. Or what he's saying to you, that the judgment day will not be done unless those things happen. It is your God, Allah, who do not know when the judgment day is. In the Quran, in the chapter of the moon, Allah, he said, supposedly, the moon is split and the judgment day in the corner. And that was 1400 years ago. Do we have any Muslim? Any Abdul? The problem is we cannot find a Muslim he have little dignity even to discuss with him. And I cannot take it no more. Now, let us assume that Jesus is not God. So what is the authority that Jesus, when he come back, and why he's coming back? I mean, the Islamic religion, which is a cult, which is a collection of stories from other belief, including our belief. When Muhammad said Jesus will come back, why it is Jesus, not Muhammad? I mean, look at this madness. Have you ever heard that the one who finished the movie is not the hero? The Muslim, they say that Muhammad is the final messenger, but Jesus is coming back, so he's not the final messenger. They say that the message of Islam is completed, but Muhammad is, is dead and Jesus is coming back. It's not completed. It's not over yet. And why Jesus is the one who will kill the devil and he will kill the Antichrist? And why do we have Antichrist? What about we have anti-Muhammad? Why the devil is an Antichrist, not anti-Allah? Who is this Christ? He is the one who will complete everything. He is the one who will establish everything. He is the one who will end the movie, according to Islam. And yet Muhammad is the hero of the movie. He is Sylvester Stallone. While Muhammad is dead in the grave and now his, his bones is dust. Any Muslim can tell us why Jesus will do all of this? Even Muhammad, he said, that when Shaitan, when Adu Allah, he see Jesus, he will melt like salt. Imagine how much Jesus is powerful. Shaitan, he made fun of Muhammad and he controlled Muhammad. But when Shaitan, he see Jesus, he will melt like salt.
my Lord is not God oh, do you see my friend it says he is Jehovah <laughs> you can play with the word Lord my friend the second you say Lord Lord and says Jehovah he called him by spirit the Lord Jehovah and what about the one he saw me he saw God imagine somebody says to me show me the God I say the one who saw me saw God how about I am the Alpha isn't it your God he said he's the Alpha too he's still in the names of Jesus he is the end he is the beginning he's the end which means everything started by him even the Bible says everything was created by him and for him silly stupid denial and look who is your God you know your God Allah he said he is God worship me but look how what he do he say the most stupid things ever your God do not know even how the baby is created he said I am God worship me but he speak like a donkey look at this this is God talking So if we get those birds they learn how to speak and we taught him to say I am God worship me I'm God worship me I'm God worship you will worship him this is your God how this God can be God read and laugh this is your God is speaking about how he created you as a baby and please tell me Abdul any one of you which translation you like me to show you this is a God who said, I am God, worship me, but he is a certified donkey. He do not know how the baby is created. Read and love. But remember, he said, I am God, worship me. I mean, we have to be honest here. <laughs> so anyone he says to us, I am God, worship me, we have to believe him. Just because he said so, even if he is a stupid. Right? Read and love. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Sperm will turn into congealed blood, you donkey. Are you serious? Are you serious? I want you to go and search in the prophet Google, peace upon him, how the, what is the stages of a baby, the embryo. You will not find in anywhere it says that the sperm will transform into a congeda blood. Here we go. Your God, he said, I am God, worship me. Are you there, Adnan Rashid? This is a God who said, I am God, worship me. He do not know how the baby is created. This is God who said, I am God, worship me. He claimed that the sperm will transform into a dead blood and that will make the baby. And not only that, the poopoo -poo continue. Allah cannot stop making poopoo. -poo. So, what he said. After we made the sperm into a congealed blood, then the blood, which is dead, the blood will make it as a loom. Loom to meet you. Nice to meet you, Allah, with your intelligence. Then we made out the loom. Loom is the same as, uh, like, if you, uh, when you are eating a chicken, uh, let us say, uh, uh, the joint there is like a piece of the joint where it is not really hard bones but it's not meat but you cannot really eat it you know what I mean this is what the loom is so then we made out the loom into bones and then we close the bones with the flesh so look at this idiot God the Muslim they call him Allah the last stage we are in is like this and then after that this is the last this is the, the one before the last stage and then after that Allah will close us with the flesh <laughs> 
So we reach this point, and there's no heart, there's no kidney, there's no brain, there's no nerves, there's nothing. Is that true? This is absolutely a big stupid lie. This is a big stupid donkey lie. So your God said, I am God, worship me, but this God is a donkey. Have fun. We don't worship somebody because he said, I'm God, worship me. Worship him because he proved that he's God. Do we have any Muslim? Maybe Adnan Rashid wanna call me and answer me about that. Do you wanna call me Adnan Rashid? About Allah, he said, I am God, worship me. Your God is Allah, he says such a stupid thing. Who is a Muslim wanna call me and tell me why your God, who is God, who said, I am God, worship me, he says such a stupid thing. Any Muslim have an explanation? The sun sits in the murky water. The baby is made as you see. He cannot remember which is one is made first and which one is made after. Whoever comes first, the baby resembles the parents. What a madness. What a drama. Your prophet, he was taught by his God. Allah, he sent his prophet to the medical school. And he taught him how the baby was created. And because he learned he came with this conclusion look how Muhammad what he learned from his God God I mean come on Allah he said I'm God worship me Muhammad he learned from his God who said I am God worship me this the Prophet said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents <laughs> I am God worship me I mean isn't it obvious this is God Muhammad he learned this from his God and you are telling me why you should be not why you are not a Muslim until now come on what's wrong with you you should convert this is true this is science how in the world how come the world do not know this but muhammad he know it 1400 years ago where nobody knows anything about islam muhammad about science muhammad he said that look 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 what they say here in the top of the the quran the book of islam contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known 1400 years ago yeah 1400 years ago nobody knows that a sperm will became a dead blood and then the blood will became loom and then the loom will became bones and then we close the bones with the flesh nobody knows that only allah and by the way we we mention like certain mistakes in the quran but doesn't mean those are the only mistakes we have in this if you have my books, you will see English, but we, we mentioned the most easy one for people to comprehend. The easiest one. Otherwise, it is English to show you how stupid this book is. Almost every page there is stupid. Do we have any Abdul? Hello? Hello? Anyone? Any two? Any four? All right, guys. Uh, I want to say thank you for those who made the donation. We appreciate you.
and the same time did we have a good time guys you see I open so early I mean now it's 5 a.m. in the morning I'm really I'm really tired now and I will not be able really to sleep because I cannot keep stop thinking about Allah saying I'm God worship me how he knew that man I mean look this God look how he much he knew speed of light the vision the Pharaoh the mummy the steam explosion the spider web the mountains the age of the universe even the age of the universe unbelievable Allah he knew the age of the the atmosphere I mean you name it <laughs> do you know why I keep coming back each time I leave I receive messages in Facebook says I want to leave Islam can you please they make a special request he want to leave Islam and I get tempted but for good so those who they are asking me as you see I'm helping you even though I'm really tired but still for me it's very important to help you to leave this cult I really appreciate all those people who they are uh, 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 thinking seriously as you see there is one single thing is a huge between us and the Muslims who defend Islam we speak with honesty they have no honesty and that is telling you how Islam is formed if Muslims are following the true God why they lie to us as an example the guy who just called me he start quoting for me that Jesus will bring swords and etc but all of us we knew what this verse is about he challenged me to show him a verse where Jesus is saying that his God obviously he's saying his God but yet he will not accept we show him what his Quran is saying still he will not accept and they play games they avoid anything and they even started manipulating the Quran mean as you see all of this is corruption none of this the Quran is speaking about and Muhammad himself he got them busted but in order to make Quran a book of science they corrupt their book meaning in order to make it fit with science like the honeybees the Pharaoh the blah 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 the blah 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 and we check them out you can read my books you know I have a book it's called Quran and science in depth which you will die laughing about the madness actually here in that like we don't mention all of them uh, you know in the book I have heavy heavy duty reference because I wanted my books to be um, you know kind of um, professional study not just you know a handy book in, in the hand uh, Is, is Adnan still here? Guys, do you, do you like to have uh, to have one match more with, with Adnan? Should we call Adnan again? Adnan, are you still there? Even though I'm tired, I need to sleep. But we can take a... We can give you... Are you there, Adnan? Adnan is here. Let us call him. Now, listen. Adnan, he asked me to show him where I, Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Okay, I'm not going to. We are done with this. I'm going to ask Adnan, your God, he said, I am God, worship me. But how your God, he says stupid things if he's God. Is that fair? What do you think, guys? Adnan, answer, I'm going to call you. How he is God, but he says stupid things. What do you think guys what do you think guys you tell me what you think guys so what do you think your god he you said your god he god, said he, i am god at least, he's got the voc at least he's got the vocabulary to say i am god whereas jesus doesn't even have the vocabulary to clearly state that he is god or worship well, him. according to you according to you, you he did not say that according to you he did not say that this is your business no problem according but to we the showed Bible, you. no 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 we showed you we showed you we showed you now listen listen listen, listen. okay 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 no problem my friend my friend my friend hold on why you why you are keep running i give you my answer 
and now you are not convinced no problem now answer me what kind of a prophet he says such as stupid things that whoever come first the baby will resemble the parents is that in the Quran this is yes this is in the Quran too because this is Muhammad is the hadith is Quran don't you know that this Islam is based is Islam based on the in, in the hadith and the Quran together or only in the Quran Stop lying. The hadith is not the Quran. You just said I asked you, is it in the Quran? You said, yeah. Okay. Hold on, 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 hold on. Is it Islam based? Is it Islam? Is it Islam based on the hadith? The Quran is the words of Allah. No, is the Quran. Are you saying to me that the prophet words are not the word of Allah? Are you not listening to what I'm saying? Hadith, there has three or four different types of there's daif, there's hasam. Hmm. This sahih, hmm. which is classed as different variants, where okay, well, this one, this one is sahih, no problem. Here we go. Yeah, do you okay. understand? But with the Quran, there's no okay, no sahih. problem here. But this one is sahih, so you have no excuse. Do you see it? It says sahih. See it. Read you it. just, you just said, you just said. I, listen, I can't. You know when I'm talking on Skype, I'm on my phone. I can't see anything on your screen. No, you can. Line. You can just, just click at YouTube, and you will see it. Because Skype can you can always Skype is different program. You can always hide it in behind the screen. No problem So this is a Sahih Hadith I hope it will not leave The hadith, brother and sisters, there's the three kinds of hadith. The hadith is Quran. The Quran is a hadith. The Quran is a hadith. And collected the same way the hadith is collected. For both of them, they are hadith. What happened to you, Abdul? Are you there? All right. Do you see the hadith now? I don't. Listen, when I press that thing, it comes off. I'm using a sh like really not good phone, and okay. this is not. I, I got no problem. Laptop but but from, okay, you can do this. You can do this. Okay, I, I will. I will give you the link. Hold on, hold on. I will give you the link. You click at the link and you open it. Is that fine? That's perfect. Okay, go ahead. You Here talked we. about is that the Quran? You're going to show me the Quran, right? My friend, I will show you from the Quran and I will show you from the Hadith. Go ahead. Let's start with the Quran first. <laughs> no, this is the Hadith the... first, and this is Sahih. You said to me, you accept the Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih. The Quran is the foundation. My friend, do you accept the Sahih Hadith or you don't accept Sahih Hadith? I accept Sahih Hadith. Okay, yes. this is Sahih, so we have no problem. Read it. Where does it say? I can't see nothing, brother. I gave you, I gave you the link. I gave you the link. You click at the chat. Go out of, of the uh, the blue screen, and you will see in the side there's a chat. Click okay. at the chat. I see it now. Yes. Mm. Okay, what is the problem with that? There's no problem, you think? The messenger of Allah, peace mm. be upon him, said, mm. "A man's water is thick and white, mm. which we know unless you unless you're gay and you don't know how your water looks like, uh -huh, then maybe okay. it's different. Mm. Um, the wa the woman's water is thin and yellow. Mm. Whichever of them comes first, mm. the child." Will resemble that parent. Do you agree with that, or this is stupid? This is definitely not stupid. If this is sahih, hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, but can, it, but so can, can, okay. Now, I'm as long as long you say this is definitely not stupid, I'm going to ask you, please. Can you show me any doctor in the world agree that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will look like her? If the man have orgasm first, the baby will look like him. Have you got any um, evidence which counter this evidence? Which yeah, say that because this is all common. science says that this has nothing to do with with the, the 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 look of the resemble of the baby, which is here about about the gender, about how not only the look, it's about his male or female, have nothing to do who comes first. Most of Muslim women they never come anyway because you do circumcision for them. The wife of Muhammad oh. herself she never have orgasm. Okay, so now we're going to change the subject again. We are not changing the subject. You are asking me. I'm, uh, you are, you are, I am not changing the subject. I'm asking. I'm, I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you. According to science, it doesn't matter who comes first because orgasm is not the one who decides if it's a male or female. It doesn't matter how they look like with the orgasm first. So how your prophet say such a thing? 
can we say can we can, can we listen to me a bit mm. we believe mm. god allah determines mm. whether the kid is a male or a female but whether but your prophet here is saying the opposite is saying mm. the man's word is telling you the formula so mm. but we actually believe the formula mm. is god is given to us by god so mm. god determines ultimately mm. how the kid looks like okay how, Number, the, how the kid look like the one who comes first right no have you seen have you seen your mom coming before did you see your mom coming before you, know, you came it, it, my friend it, it, did you see your, leave your you, mom and my mom alone i'm asking you now i'm asking you did you see your mom coming you see before here we go, you, here, here we go. Is, they are savage trashy people why why are you trying to insult my mother now are you do you want me to say about your mom coming too did you see your mom did you see your mom coming too did you did you see your mom coming i did not see my mom coming no i i, I go I, I answer you i want to ask you the same question did you watch your mom coming Listen, did you watch your mom coming? Mom. I'm asking you the same question you asked me. I did not see that. Did you watch your mom coming? You before called me a bastard, which implies that my mom had sex illegitimately. That's what you said to me before. So you're the one who started with the mom. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is the who is a bastard in Islam? Show me the Quran. Now. Who is a bastard in Islam? No, you said you was gonna show me the from the Quran. Show me the Quran now. Show you. Saw, show you from. Show you what from the Quran. Show me whatever you said. You said he was going to show me something from the Quran. I asked you. Okay, here we what? go. We go to the Quran. Okay, 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 okay. So now everybody is laughing because everybody knows. Hold on, everybody knows that your prophet cannot be prophet because this is the most stupid statement to say. And now we go to the Quran. Let us go to the Quran. That's your opinion. That's your. Opinion. No, it's not my opinion. This is what science says. You that Muslim, you claim. You Muslims, you claim that the Quran is a book of science, and Muhammad yeah. he speak nothing but truth, right? Science, one hundred years ago. Is different to today 100 years ago. It the doesn't next matter. So are you saying to me your prophet at that time he was lying and now now he's not lying no more. He's, he, he was lying at that time. We affirm the Quran and the Sahih Hadiths. Mm. It doesn't change like science changes from 100 years ago. Okay. To 300 years ago, people didn't know that gravity existed. Mm. 500 years ago, people didn't okay. know. Okay. Let us go to the Quran. Let us go to the Quran. Okay. Hold on. Let us not waste our time. Here we go. Explain to me, explain to me how your God he says such a stupid thing that the sperm will taint will become a congealed dead blood. Show me that in the Quran, yeah? Yeah, that's what it's in the Quran. Yeah, okay, let's read it carefully. Chapter 23, verse number 14. 23 14. Okay, one second. Twenty-three fourteen, you said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna read it now. Cause all of these people that you've got, a lot of these followers and sheep's that don't know what they're talking about, mm -hmm. keep saying I'm scared, keep running away, keep running. I'm right here, people. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we are laughing. Okay. So you, you are the one who agreed. It's recorded that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will look like her, will be the female. If the man have orgasm first will be look like him and it will be a male and you have no problem with that I will go into that later on I will no, check you, the you did already you did already answer I gave you the hadith you want me to go back now I will check the actual I will go further into it you understand I'm not gonna take just your word for uh, a link I did you not give me. you my words I did not give you my word this is sunnah that come don't stop it stop lying I did not give you a Christian website I give you the hadith I give you the number I give you the link and this is your so Muslim you website are you gonna stop me from um, researching further? You just want me to accept it by your thing, by what you say? What, so what, I can't why you don't search. why you don't search right now? Here we go. Go ahead. No, we're on right now. You told me to go to another thing now. No, you are I'm the gonna... one who said to me go to the Quran. You are the one who asked me to change. You forgot? Exactly. So, but we don't have time now for me. No, to we do have my time. Own... No, I'm going to wait. No, I want to give you time. I will go so, back to the hadith. No, 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 no. You see, you are. A, you, this why I, this why I hang up on you. You have no dignity. You have no honesty. Here we go. I'm going to give you one hour to give me the reference that this is the true. Confirm it to me. Go ahead. You know why you're very disingenuous. You are. You, you are a filthy creature. You have no <laughs> dignity. You are the one who said to me, "Show me in the Quran." That's why I switched the Quran. I am I, I am not the one who switched it's you who asked me to go to the Quran now I am asking you as long you as long you insist you want to investigate this take your time I'm waiting I, I asked you from the beginning I do it don't waste my time you see I'm hanging up on you why because I'm losing my patience with you you are just a kid you are like Aisha you said you want to investigate it I have time don't worry I'm here with you take your time 
Listen, chapter 23. I don't want to listen. I want you to. No, I want you to investigate. You said you cannot answer me unless you investigate. Investigate. Go ahead. Okay. That's what we'll do then. Okay. That's what you want. But I'm right now. I'm. You told me to go to chapter 23. No, verse don't, 14. don't go to chapter 23. You are the one who said to me, go to the Quran. And when I went to the Quran, you said to me, you did not give me time to investigate the hadith. So now we no, go and investigate the hadith first. Get me busted. Show me that I'm lying. Okay, this is what we're gonna do now. Mm. You told me you're gonna give me time, don't run away. Yeah, mm. I'm here, <laughs> run away. <laughs> I like it. Okay, most contemporary scientists and doctors are in the view that it is the man who is responsible for determining the gender of the baby by Allah's leave. And the woman is simply like the cultivated ground um, which is planted. It is simply the place where it grows by Allah's leave. Mm. This is referred to in some verses of the Holy Quran. Mm. Dr. Muhammad Ali Albar hmm. said hmm. it is it is scientifically proven that the gender of the baby is decided from the moment when the sperm meets the egg and fertilizes it. Hmm. If the sperm which carries the male chromosome Y hmm. meets the egg, then the fetus will be male hmm. by Allah's leave. Hmm. But if the sperm that fertilizes the egg carries the female chromosome, hmm. Then the fetus will be female. Mm -hmm. So it is the sperm or the man's semen that determines the gender, mm -hmm. whether the fetus will be male or female. Thank you very and much. And that created. This is the Quran now. Okay. So and now, so now you confirm that your prophet is a liar. No, I'm I'm confirming that whatever you gave me is contradicting to the Quran. And we, I told you the where where in the Quran it says that where in Quran it says that where where. Najm and Najm. Okay, hold on, hold on, oh, guys. Did you hear he's saying that this hadith is contradicting the Quran? Did he say that? No. Listen to what I'm saying. No, 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 no. You, no, no. You just say it. You just say that this hadith I gave you contradicting the Quran. I want you to say that again. No, that means that means that means. Look, the foundation of our belief comes from the Quran. This is another question. I want you to say that this hadith contradicts the Quran. Say it. Any hadith. If there's any hadith. That contradicts. It doesn't matter. I want you to say that this hadith in the front of us in the screen contradict the Quran, please. Listen to me. Are you not listening? To I what I'm want saying? you to say. Oh, oh, what are you asking? You just to say is this hadith in the front of us contradicting the Quran? Yes or no? There is a lot of hadith. This is not the not question. Just... Stop. You see why I hang up on you? You are a kid. I'm asking you. Is this hadith in the front of us between our hands? Is it in a contradiction with the Quran? Yes or no? Look now. I'll read it again. Look, let me read What's something. What's wrong with now. you? Sure. Give me the answer. Why it's hard to say? Is this hadith in the front of us in the screen contradicting this, the Quran? You you gave me a chance to research this. You said I'll give you and one you hour. Did. Oh, what I'm asking you, I'm asking you now. You said that the Quran says something different. So I'm asking you, is this hadith contradicting the Quran? This hadith. If it does contradict, listen to what I'm saying. Don't tell me if, if it, it does. does. Don't tell me if it does. I'm asking you after investigating now. Does it or does not? Does it interpret the Quran or it does not? Investigation. Listen. Give me time to finish. You told me you're going to give me one hour. You have. You will never call me again, son of Muta.
This is why I say bastard, because you follow the religion of muta, coward. How it says sahih and contradict the Quran? That's mean your prophet is liar. Same time contradict the Quran where? Where in the Quran it says Y and X you liar? Where in the Quran it says there's Y and X? <laughs> The Quran. <laughs> the Quran say Y and X. Nice to meet you. Your prophet, he said, that the last thing the gender to be decided is the last thing in the process of a creating baby. And nowhere in the Quran, by the way, is speaking about what you said. What a big false person you are. I challenge you, by the way, to post for us a link. I will show it in the screen. I'm not going to talk to you no more. You are just a kid. I call you once after once after once, and that's it. I am losing my patience. Look what Muhammad, he said about how the baby is created. Not only here. And this is Sahih. Look, all of them, they are Sahih. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is not a false claim. So if you say this is a declaration of the Quran, that's me, Muhammad is a liar. That's it. Because it cannot be this is what Muhammad said and yet contradicting the Quran as you claim. The Prophet said, At every womb, Allah appoint angel who says, Oh Lord, drop of semen. Oh Lord, the clot. Oh Lord, a little lump. Oh uh, flesh. Then Allah wishes to complete his creation. The angel asks, Oh Lord. It will be male or female. It is the last thing to process. But everybody heard you saying, the first thing happened to determine the male or female is when the sperm enter to the egg, which means it's the first stage. Same time, the hadith we mentioned to you, it says whoever comes first, which means the women can determ determine and the man can determine. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said the following, where he got himself busted. A Jewish man, he came to Muhammad and he asked him three questions. He said to him, I will ask you three questions. Nobody knows, save a prophet of God. Only prophet of God knows. One of the questions about how the baby became male or female. Look what your prophet said. Your prophet, he said, Just now, Jibreel told me. Just now. Which means this is coming answer from Allah. And again, this is Sahih. This is not weak. They cannot play the game. I accept, don't accept, as you see. Now, how your prophet explained the baby gender? Look what he said. And the Muslims here, they try to cover the ass of Muhammad, so added those things between two bracket. They are not exist. I.e. ovum central portion. I.e. And then they add a chromosome. <laughs> chromosome. <laughs> this is the same hadith about who has ever come first. We just show it to you. It's sahih. And this is the same, whoever come first. So now, now Muhammad saying, Whoever come first, the, the child, if the man come first, is going to be a male child. If the women, if the women come first, that's why he is mentioning the look of the liquid in the vagina, yellow. And look like Muhammad always, he have women who they are infected with diseases. So the man sperm is white. And the guy, he said to me, eh, the, everybody knows that the, white, the sperm of the man is white unless you are a gay. How, this is how stupid you are. You are insulting yourself, my friend. Your prophet was a gay. But yet, obviously, he knew how the sperm looked like. Because if you are a gay, still you know how the sperm looked like. You are really stupid and savage unless you are a gay. It's your prophet who wear women clothes. It's your prophet who put eyeliner. It's your prophet who pee like a woman. It's your prophet who kiss men down their, their belly. It's your prophet he slept inside the bed with many men. It's your prophet who said that my cousin he raped me. Well, what else I should say to you? Your prophet he have a leak in his bum? 
what is what is left of a gay it's your prophet who promised you in heaven you will have whatever you wish including male to have sex with who is the gay now look here Muhammad he claimed that if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and if this is why he is mentioning the color of the of the sperm this is not about the chromosome and the egg of the woman is not a yellow liquid <laughs> the women liquid is not yellow And the egg is not yellow and it is not a liquid now <coughs> here we will find more stupidity of Muhammad when a drop of seen a drop of a sperm not semen drop it says uh, <coughs> it didn't say semen remain in the womb for 40 or 50 because the word there is a is a not far not far is uh, is not a semen it is like in the million of semen you know it's a drop of, of sperm so Muhammad he think a drop of a sperm will go all the way to the womb and will stay inside for 50 days or 40 days this is how we stupid your prophet and by the way according to Islam a Muslim woman she can be pregnant up to 10 years why to cover why Muhammad was born four years after his father's death. And we can show reference from Islamic scholars, as he mentioned, at Tabari, or even many of the scholars, they agree. This is why a few years ago, Sharia law court, uh, I think in Somalia, they wanted to send this woman to death because she get pregnant, uh, uh, I think like uh, 16 uh, months after her husband passed away. So the people they took her, they want to sentence her for for adultery, and then the the the, the lawyer he showed them uh, in the Sharia court. Well, you know she can be pregnant from the previous husband who passed away, up to four, five, six, seven, or even ten years. So the Sharia law have no choice but to release her. So when Muhammad he said that the sperm stay in the womb for 40 days first the sperm does not go to the womb secondly sperm doesn't live more than a few days what 40 and 50 days and then as you see at the end of the creation the angel he asked male or female and we heard this guy saying that the first thing happened when the sperm go in is uh, to 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 decide what is the gender of the of the of the baby will be. Now, is this hadith is sahih? Absolutely, as you see. So, if those hadith are sahih, that means Muhammad is a liar. The last thing Allah will decide the shape of the baby, which means if he will have a penis or not. The sperm will turn into be a clot of a blood. That is stupid too. I mean, all of them, they are repeating the same. And all of them, they are sahih. All is sahih. Bukhari, sahih, Muslim, you name it. So Allah, he said, I am God, worship me, but your God is the most stupid God ever to be God. For only donkeys will make such a statement. And as you see, even the Quran saying it clearly that your God is a donkey because the sperm does not transform into a congealed blood. And then the clot became a loom. And then the loom became a bones. And then at the end, Allah will make the bones covered by flesh that is stupid not to forget to mention the Quran says in chapter 86 verse number 6 and 7 that the human being is created from a gushing fluid coming out 
and this gushing fluid is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women how Muhammad is saying that his God is God who said I am God worship me but he say such a stupid thing like this so my friend I'm so happy for you that your God he said I am God worship me but obviously he is a stupid God I'm so proud that your God is a stupid God this is God he said I am God worship me My, uh, listen listen guys when he, uh, he said if you find the hadith contradict the Quran that is rejected okay the Quran says you do muta the hadith says you don't do muta which one you follow you see the you see the potatoes do you see the potatoes the Quran says you do muta the hadith says you don't do muta which one you follow the Quran never mentions stoning to death. The, the Hadith says you do stoning to death. Which, which one you follow? Hello? In the same time, show me where what verse is contradict the Hadith. Can you give me the verse? I, I, I want to put it in the screen, Adna Rashid. Give me the verse. Where it does say muta? Guys, where it does says muta? Where it says muta? Here we go. Chapter 4, verse number 24. This guy, he's denying that his God, he taught Muta. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> where, where is... <coughs> My friend, where it says Muta? Hey, come on. Where, 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 where do you get this from? There, 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 there is no the, 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 muta. I challenge you to show me one scholar. He says the Quran does not have muta. Name one for me, and I will show it to you on the screen. This is your prophet cousin Ibn Abbas, and this is the Wajil muta. Do you see it? Now, in the front of everybody, I want you to choose for me an interpretation you like. I will show it to you in the screen. You deny that Quran have muta, you coward? You deny the Quran have muta. You see what happened when you are ashamed of your of your cult? The Muslim, they are ashamed of their cult. Their God allowed them to rent a woman in the elevator for five minutes to have sex with her. This is chapter 4, verse number 24. It says in Arabic, فَمَا اسْتَمْتَعْتُمْ بِهِ مِنْهُنْ Whatever you enjoy of fit, which is their vagina, you have to pay them their wages. This is about the muta. The word muta is in the front of us on the screen. And we can show tons of hadith which is sahih about the muta. In the brackets? No, in the Quran, it's not in bracket, my friend. This is translation, you donkey. In bracket, in the translation. Do you see here it says? Read with me carefully. Read, 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 read and laugh at yourself. Brother, it's between bracket. Read with me. Means so you, you, you should seek with your money marrying women for agreed period of time do you see it so you go to a woman you say to her how long how much you charge me if i do bank bank to you for three hours if she said ten dollars you agree upon three hours this is muta do you see it so you have to set an agreed 
period of time. That's what Mutai is about. This is how filthy, satanic your cult is. Yeah, you go to a woman, like if I see a woman in the elevator, and I like her, and she is a Muslim, and I want to have sex with her, I say to her, how long, how, how, like, uh, how much you charge for five hours? She think, like, okay, Christian Prince looks so ugly, disgusting, so I have to charge him too much. Which means she will charge me like five dollars. Maybe Adna Rashid is more handsome, she will charge him less. But still, you have to decide how much money and how long the period of the time. And yet, this coward is denying that this is in the Quran. So anything contradict the hadith that the Quran will reject with a lie. Who said that? There is tons of rules in the Quran abrogated by the hadith. You can go right now, so right now, and search for hadith abrogating Quran. You believe it? Hadith is more powerful than the Quran. Thank you very much, guy. Did he say it's abrogated verses? So what? I want to ask you now. You said anything contradict the Quran, you don't accept your donkey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, look, look what he said. Just to show you how they are, how they earn certification to be donkeys when they come to speak to me. Let me, uh, let me. Uh, okay, hold on. This is what this idiot he said. I'm going to take a snapshot, put it in the screen. Look what he said. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> when I say to you, there are people who have, you know, uh, the additional, additional proof that Allah is the devil, he could not convince smart people to defend him. He have the worst lawyers to defend him this is what adnan rashid he said abrogated verses read on you liar okay hold on where is the abrogated verses abrogated are they in the quran or abrogated by the hadith are you there rashid here we go you got yourself busted the muta is abrogated is it abrogated by the Quran or the Hadith abrogate the Quran? How you say to me, we reject anything, contradict the Quran, but the abrogation is in the Hadith. So now he have to flip upside down. And, and when he spoke to me, he was he was sitting in his ass. Now he had to sleep in his belly. Anything, you know, oppose the Quran, we reject. That's what you said. Okay, show me the, now. Where is the abrogated verses in the Quran? They are in the Hadith. So you again today you today actually you graduated, my friend, from the Mule University. I was thinking to give you a donkey certificate, but you proved to me that you deserve higher. You are a mule. Are you there, Adnan Rashid? You reject any hadith contradict the Quran, right? Hello? <laughs> what a bunch of kids. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Stupid cult. By the way, I I, I take I, I would take my certificate from you. You don't even deserve a mule because I just received a comment from a mule. He said this is not fair. This is discrimination about the kind of a mule. By the way, your God in the Quran, he said he created the mule and he created everything male and female. I want you to find me what is the female for the mule. I'm waiting for that. 
how is stupid your God to say that he created everything from male everything ever living thing from male and female and he say I created the mule who is the wife of the mule what a stupid God you have Rashid are you dead he played dead now he's searching poor guy if you're sorry for him he is searching in Amazon for mule uh, uh, Clorex. He want to wash the shame he covered himself with. A mule detergent, a mule shampoo. What, what, what? Hold on, what he said. He was thinking all of this. Read on. It says right there, next verse. Keep reading. Why you don't want to answer my call? How easy it is just to diss me. And okay, so if I call you now, you will answer me. Okay, okay, I, I will call you guys. He will read right there, read right there. Okay, hold on, let us have fun. Are we having fun, guys? <laughs> <coughs> All right, Abdul, I will call you. Why? Why is it every time you just want to turn off the phone on me? Anytime you because you're like a kid, you're wasting my time. I'm not wasting anyone's okay. time. I'm okay, let's see. Let's see if you're wasting, wasting my time or not. Show me. Show me. Okay. Just, you, okay. You, you, okay here we go. Time. Everybody saw you saying that you reject any hadith contradict the Quran. Correct. Exactly. Okay. The Quran says that Allah he sent, sent you know Allah Allah sent verses for a muta, and then you said it's abrogated. Correct. And the muta, let me make it clear. Mm. This is in times of war. If you look at the the um, the verses before it, and you was reading, you you lied to your people. Mm. It talks about captives. Does it talk about captives? Okay. Can you read it? Okay. So what? It, it, from the beginning. My friend, what, my, friend no, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I want you to show me that you can do muta only in the war. Can you show me a reference? Are you there? <laughs> this is about you raping the captive, you donkey. You don't do muta with the captive. You don't do. You don't pay money to the captive. She's your captive anyway. Stupid idiot. He lost his connection. Abdul. Why you turn off straight away? As soon as you get caught, you, you just turn Abdul, off. Abdul, you are the one who lost your connection, you idiot. I'm listening to you. Now, you said, you, you said, you said this is about it. war. Where in here it says this about war? Show me. Read the, read the verses before it. Can you please read, read the, the verses. verses before it? Go, go ahead, read. I can't see it. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I, if, okay, I, if, my, I, if I go back, okay, to it, okay, maybe okay, 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 okay. So, okay, so uh, uh, you are saying to me the verse before it speak is saying about having sex with people you capture from war, or about uh, paying them. Listen, the captives. If you have captives, uh -huh. they have in in a war, mm -hmm. as we know, uh -huh. is you take captives, uh -huh. yes or no? But do you pay them money for sex? The verses, no, the verses before it, mm. the, the money for sex is the nikah. Right now, mm. if I get married today in mm. 2019 with a Muslim woman, mm. there's something called dowry. Mm. We have to pay dowry, mm. which is money mm. or animals, cows, goats. Mm. You understand, yeah? Whether it's in Africa, Asia, when I wear, marry a woman, mm. she has the right to have a certain amount of money. She mm. says, I have to have this money. Then me as a husband, I have to provide. We know, we know that. We know that. This is not the question. Did, did so, the Quran, <laughs> my friend, my friend, hold on. You see, just talked about. I don't like. I don't like stupid talk. I'm losing my patience with you. You said verse number. The verse before it. There's nothing in the verse before it speak about any what you are talking about. Stop being oh, stupid. Oh, now they, show me the reference. They, show me the reference. Show me the reference. Look at this guy, man. Does it say captives? Yes or no? Before my, 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 my friend, what captive before? It says in the same verse, not the one before. It says it's forbidden for you to have sex with married women, except except your slaves and anyone you agree with them to have sex because and you enjoy their vagina. 
No, you liar. Okay, who is Islam? Okay, hold how on. Do, how, do, how was um, slaves acquired? How were captives Abdul, acquired? Abdul, stop being a donkey. Do you pay? Do you pay the slave for sex? Yes or no? Hey, brother, look at this guy, brother. Don't call me brother. <laughs> I am asking you. Show me where it says you pay the the muta here. You do with the slave. This guy. Okay. The let's, muta let's, you do with the slave. Yes or no? Do you do it with the slave? Let's 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 read it. Let's read it right now. I got the thing right here in front of me. Yeah. Okay. Read it. Okay. Okay. What's happening? So this by by Abu Zakaria al an Abari uh -huh. and I read to Ibn Abbas hmm. those of them with whom you contract muta hmm. this is in brackets yeah hmm. give them the prescribed dowries hmm. you hear that hmm. dowries hmm. this is 24 hmm. and then look what, what the reply was he hmm. said those of them with who you contracted muta for a specific period Abu Najra said we do not recite it like that. Hmm. Ibn Abbas, one of the scholars, hmm. which does a tafsir on the Quran, hmm. said, I swear by Allah, Allah certainly revealed it like this. Hmm. So this is Sahih. Yeah. Hmm. It talks about when is a war. There's a war. Where, 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 where is the war? Where is the war? Where is the word war in what you read for me? Did you see the word war? What what does what does captive mean? You tell me what captive. Look, my means. friend, my friend, stop being a donkey. The agreement about sex is not with the slave. The verse here is speaking about stop being stupid. Stop being a stupid. And now, okay, you know what? I will go with you. I will go with you. just just to make it short. Now you <laughs> said just, just wait, just wait, just wait. You said that this verse is abrogated. Doesn't matter with the slave or not slave. Okay, so now we agree that there's a muta here, right? There's a muta, and you said it's abrogated. Where is the verse which abrogates this verse? Okay, look, look underneath what what you just wrote. Read the next one. Well, that's what I said. Read on. Read on the next verse. What you had, when you said you tell me. I, okay, where is the verse? Abrogate this verse. Read on. You read on. Where, you where, 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 read where? Where? Tell me. You read it, donkey. Come on. I got you. Brought it. Read on the next verse of what you're reading. What next verse? Which said, verse? Which verse? Oh, the, number what? Verse number what? The one you brought up in the brackets where it said muta in the brackets. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Read the next verse or then two verses after it read it what does it say what it says it says uh, but yeah. the lawful, lawfulness of this practice was later abrogated okay okay, okay. i'm asking oh. you now where is that verse abrogate this verse are you stupid or what you're not listening to what i'm saying it just tells you clearly that it was abrogated i understand i am asking you where is how it was abrogated Where? Where is the proof of the abrogation? I get it. It says abrogated. It's in the hadith, right? Okay, one second. <laughs> Look at this guy. You're reading something that says abrogated, then you tell Abdul, him, I understand. It's abrogated. Uh, this is why I call you mule. I know it. I am, I am the one who said to you, it says here abrogated. I am asking you, it's abrogated where? Is it in the Quran or in the Hadith? Temporary marriage, look here, temporary mm. marriage, <coughs> this whole thing that you talked about is a Shia concept. Oh, I am God. not Shia. Mm. Are you, you stupid or what? Aren't you the one who is reading for me, Ibn Abbas? Ibn Abbas is not Shia. Stop being a donkey. Well, and Alan Sari is not Shia. Stop being a donkey. The names you quote for me are not Shia. This is Sunni. Sunni. This Nine is Quran. This is Quran. Quran is the book of the Sunni or the Shia. It's both of them. But the Shia, they don't agree with the Hadith, so they still practice the 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 the, uh, the muta. The Muslims they agree with the Hadith and they accept the Hadith, saying there's no muta no more. So I'm asking you now, as long we agree that the Quran have the muta, where is the abrogated verses? Three. Verse 3, chapter 3, 197. Chapter 3, verse 197. Okay, go ahead. Read yes. for me. You, you read. You read it for me. Hmm. 197, right? It's 197. Read it. Read it. And, and that's the abrogation, yeah? Read what you're talking about now. Okay. 
What if it's not? What you will do? <laughs> you, read, you read it for me. You where, tell, where I can say, have it right in front of me. So where, you tell me. What does it have to do with the muta? Read with me. Does it say muta, the first word? No, it doesn't say anything. No, where? I can read it right now. It says muta. Chapter 3. See. You say the chapter 3, verse number 197, right? Yes. Okay, it's in front of me. What does it say? Where it says the muta? Read it for me. Okay, but Ab Abdul, you strip it or what? This, this, this <laughs> Read is, it to me. It says Abdul, Abdul, this is speaking about those who enjoy this earth. They are going to have Jahannam. Are you stupid or what? Brother, are you not listening to what? Muta'a, there's a M, there's a Ta, and there's a A. No, there is no Muta'a. This is Muta'a, you donkey. Muta'a, Muta'a. This is not Muta'a. You are donkey, certified donkey. Now, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Which interpretation you want me to show you? Which interpretation you want me to show you for this verse? Read me for me the scholar. You want Ibn Abbas? You're not listening to how he's. Do you want? Do you want me to show you Ibn Abbas? Ibn Kathir, which one? All of them, they will say no. This is not nothing to do with the Muta'a, you donkey. The Muta'a is about you renting legally a woman for sex. This is about people will go to hell. Are you not? Are you not listening to what? Okay, read, read, read the translation for me. Read the trans. Read, read, read the translation for me. Choose from me a translation and read. Go ahead. Read the translation for me, Abdul. Their ultimate abode is hell, and the worst indeed is that place for the rest. So it shows you that this is abrogating those who do this practice. Okay, I have, a I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you. I have, I have, I have a challenge for you. Is it okay if you give me? Is, is it okay if you give me one scholar say this is about the muta? Okay, let me see right here. Is that fine with you, Your Majesty? That's very. Which is scholar? Which is scholar you like me to show you to get you busted? Name one of your choice. You said to me you like Ibn Abbas, correct? Show me what Ibn Abbas says about Here this. We go. There's no Musa. This is about people who enjoy this life, they will go to hell. Enjoy what in this life? Everything in life. The comfort, oh, no, everything. You're, you're lying. Abdul, are you saying to me that Allah He said to you you can do muta and he will take you to hell for doing muta? Allah says those who do the muta. The abode will be hell. Yes, you can read it right there in front of you. Where Are it you says that? Beautiful? Where it says that? You donkey. Where it says that? Oh my God, man! Right here in front of me. Are you talking to yourself? I'm talking to you. Okay, where is, where is the muta? I'm telling you, let me tell your um, um, listeners something right now. 90% of Muslims. No, oh. no, no, don't tell me, so, don't change the topic, don't change the topic. I want you to tell me, where is your, you quote for me, you coward, you coward, you are a donkey. You quote for me this verse, you say this is a verse abrogating the muta. I want to show everybody that you are a certified mule. I challenge you to show me one reference says that this is a verse, do abrogate the muta. I challenge you. Um, go to Muhammad Muhsin Khan. Muhammad Muhsin Khan, what is that? You just told me, tell me a sheikh hmm. who, who talked about this. I gave you one name. Okay, now answer give me my a link. question. Give me a link and I will show, uh, give me a link, I will put it on the screen. Listen, listen. You know I can't use this phone like that. I can't even look at the Abdul, screen. Abdul, stop right being, now. stop well, being a donkey. What, uh, what, what is that? This is, a, this is a translator. 
Muhsin Khan is a translator. Exactly. Okay. So uh, Muhsin Khan translator. Now he is a, he is the one giving. Uh, <laughs> translator. Give me, give me, give. Uh, let me get you busted. You see, this is why I don't like to talk to you because you are a big fat liar. Here we go. This is Islam question and answer. You are a certified donkey. Shut up and don't ever call me again. I will never let you speak to me. And I challenge any Muslim to call me and agree with you. The muta are only abrogated by the hadith, and you are a big fat liar, and you are a son of muta. And this is the additional proof that you Muslims you have no dignity. Otherwise, you are you are lying. This is Islamic question and answer. They are asking how the muta is the muta abrogated or not. Could you please tell me, tell us if there is such a concept of temporary marriage in Islam? I would like to know because a friend of mine, blah, 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 blah. Now, praise be to Allah. The basic principle, blah, 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 blah. And here you will see how the muta was abrogated. How the muta started and how the muta abrogated. It's abrogated by the hadith. No Quran. No Quran whatsoever. And this is why the Shia they don't accept to stop the muta because simply they don't accept the hadith of Al Bukhari. The Quran says you do muta, you do muta. There's not a single verse on the Quran saying you don't do muta. And what you chose from me, proving to me that you are a donkey. Here we go. This is the whole article. All of it. They are explaining to you how the muta happened, but the abrogation happened only by the hadith. You have to have a patient of an angel to talk to those donkeys. Who choose to be donkeys in purpose? He knew his line. Not a single scholar in Islam he say that the muta, the verse he gave us is about muta. Not a single one. Chapter three, verse number one ninety-seven. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas. Let's go to a Jalalain. Let's see. Maybe one of them will agree with him. Maybe we can save his ass. We will go to Ibn Kathir. We will go to anywhere you want. This is about those people who they are not praying to Allah, not worshiping Allah, enjoying their life. Later, they will go to hell. They will perish. Have nothing to do with marriage. Have nothing to do with muta of renting women for sex. It's about not following the guidance of Allah supposedly as simple as that trashy garbage no dignity liars people they can read it's in the front of us in the screen this is about the judgment day People who do muta, they will not go to hell because according to Islam, this is marriage, but temporarily for sex, for joy, which is a prostitution anyway. What this is speaking about, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Maybe Ibn Kathir will help you. Chapter 3, verse number 197. Read and laugh at yourself, you idiot. Warning against being deceived by this life. Deceived by what? This is the joy they do, the joy of the life. The reward of the righteousness believers, Allah said, don't look at the disbelievers who they are enjoying the various delight. This is about the disbelievers, it's not about the Muslims. Enjoy soon. They will lose all the joy they have. 
and they will be tied to their evil work for verily we are only giving them time which deceive them when they all have this or have is and he says a brief enjoyment there is limited obeyed in is hell so this is all the interpretation is about this is about the disbelievers not about the muslims the disbelievers who enjoy this life who live their life they think they will stay rich they will say stay uh, healthy they will stay blah 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 but soon they will die and then they will after they perish they will take them to hellfire coward liar you have no dignity it's not my it's not your fault that I you know you are talking to me it's my fault I allow such a person like you even to say hello to me it's an insult for a decent man to discuss with a person who have no dignity it's a big mistake why you are lying you lie in purpose so you get yourself busted once after once after once after once and when you will stop and you think people they are they are taking your lies we are showing on the screen everything you are saying and people are laughing <laughs> crazy people why you lie people they can go and search people they can go you know we are in the fastest brain ever it's called search engine right now they can go and type how the muta abrogated go on guys you do it you will see it says all the muslims agree abrogated by the hadith not a single muslim says it's abrogated by quran and by the way he said this is about war this is a lie what war what war even the hadith says that even after the death of Muhammad, and this is a Sahih Hadith, we did enjoy muta. We practice muta. After the death of Muhammad. <clears throat> Let us see if we can find the Hadith. <coughs> Man, I lost my voice. So I don't like to talk to those people, you know. They make you scream, give you a headache, and, and there's no point. Read with me. This is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. We did the muta in the lifetime of the Prophet, all the lifetime of the Prophet, and after, even after that. We did it during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and Omar. So how the muta is abrogated? So they show us a hadith says that the Prophet said it's abrogated, but as you see, this is a Sahih hadith. Muslim they practice muta, and there's nowhere in the Quran it says muta is forbidden. And that's why the Shia they are right. The Shia are more decent than the Muslim Sunni. The Muslim Sunni are false. You know, Islam is false anyway, but the Sunni are the last one to claim to be Muslims. They follow Al Bukhari, they don't follow the book of Allah. And the verse he quote for us, it's a clearly explained by Ibn Kathir. Now, unless you want to say Ibn Kathir is Shia, or maybe Ibn Kathir he worked for me. Like the guy from Nigeria, the Muslims accusing him that I paid him money. The same as the head of the Shia in, in Michigan. The, the Muslim, they accuse him that he got paid by me. I, I bribe him. Every Muslim, I get him busted. The Muslim, they say I paid him. And I will not be surprised if people, they will say that this guy is not even a Muslim. Just watch the text in the comment. You will see Muslim, they start saying this guy is paid by me to make Islam look stupid. This is not the question, uh, Adnan Rashid. You failed to give me where, where the abrogation is. The abrogation is in the hadith. And we can prove it for you.
<clears throat> Let us see. Is hadith and only hadith? Read. The Messenger of Allah forbidden temporary marriage with women. Not the Quran. It's not Allah who forbid. It is the Messenger of Allah. Do you see it? Do you see it? Who is the one who forbid the muta? It was Muhammad in the hadith. He is the one who allowed the muta. He is the one who forbid the muta. All right, guys. I think we have enough for today, and we have fun with this uh, mule. Lord have mercy, and I hope. Uh, more Muslims they will watch how the Muslim they lie and that will convince them fast to leave the cult of Islam and actually I noticed uh, by the way that the Muslims the more they lie the more Muslims other Muslims are convinced uh, that Islam is a false religion because a Muslim who is watching he knew that the, the other Muslim who is speaking to me is lying so maybe in the beginning he support he tried to defend etc but he will say to himself, why we are lying? Why we keep lying about what we believe in? And sooner or later, they leave Islam. And this is why you will see a lot of Muslims, because of the way I do things, a lot of Muslims leave Islam. Like there's many, uh, uh, we have many, uh, some people, they do almost like, not like me. I mean, they don't have live debate. Uh, but because they don't do live debate, they don't have many people leave Islam. A Muslim he watch this conversation today is going to be published by all over the internet. Any Muslim is watching, he will notice right away that this Abdul is lying. Non-stop. And then the first question the Muslim will ask himself: why we are lying? Why we can't be truthful? If we are following the true God, why we are lying? Why we defend our God by lying? And this is why. You notice in the last three, four months, we have a lot of people live Islam, life on air, by the help of the Muslims like this. So I'm very thankful for those liars, because this is the best way to prove that from their fruits, you shall know them. This is what Jesus said. If Islam is good religion, why the fruit of Muslims is nothing but lies? And we get them busted, we put it in the screen, we made them see what they are saying, and they will be ashamed of what they just said. From their fruits, my friend, not from their names. People, they can call themselves whatever they want. They call Allah God. But the fruit of Allah is stupid and ugly and disgusting. They call Muhammad a prophet. But the fruit of Muhammad is the most ugly, worse than the devil, devil himself. I never heard of the devil having sex with a child. Muhammad, he did. The devil has have more dignity. He's higher. He's evil, yes. But he don't go down to the level of Muhammad. So those people are very useful, and they are very helpful, and we appreciate them. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I think we have enough for today. It is six ten a.m. in the morning. Unbelievable. So now we are ready for hours. How I'm going to open after a few hours from now? My back hurt. <laughs> Lord, give me energy. Uh, I'm glad I'm not married. Otherwise, my wife, she will be beating me by now, the same as the wives of Muhammad used to beat him every night. All right? But lucky me, I am single. So thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, I don't know if today I can do it again. <laughs> but you never know, you know me. <laughs> I cannot resist the temptation of beating the devil. Until we see you soon again, we say may the Lord bless you and keep you all in good health and wealth. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And the proof is my videos. Watch and enjoy 
and read my books thank you and see you soon again bye bye